What's up, guys? Welcome back to Kind of Funny's MCU in Review, where each and every Tuesday at 9 a.m. right here on YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny, we review one of the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies leading all the way into Infinity War. But today, you're probably saying, it's Thursday, Tim. That's weird. That's because we had to double up because uh, the schedule changed for Infinity War. So to remedy that, Tuesday, we did. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Today we were doing Spider-Man Homecoming. And next Tuesday we're doing Thor Ragnarok. And then after that, of course, it's Avengers Infinity War. To be fair, though, we're still trying to talk with Disney to change the schedule back. We're still like in contract. You have an email out to them. Why yeah. would you do yeah. that? Let me know when they. Yeah. It is well, just so, get back so it doesn't fuck up our schedule. You, know? you can get the show, youtube.com slash kind of funny, 9 a.m., or you can get the podcast on podcast services all over. Uh, as always, I'm Tim Geddes. This is Andy Cortez. Hey. Kevin Coelho's behind the scenes. Because, oh, no. oh, once again, Jack Patillo <laughs> is joining us for an achievement honor. Hey, Jack! Nick Scarpino there. Hello, hello. And I guess we have Where's Spider-Man. Where's Greg Miller at? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. It's me, Spider-Man. Happy to come in and help do your That's show. Greg Miller in a, in a Spider-Man nice thing, off. for sure, because it's not shirtless Big Spider-Man. Oh, I have to look at this Jesus time, Christ. Scarpino. Oh, How many right. Spider-Man are there? We're going to get a reboot of this? Please is. take this one off. It's very painful. <laughs> Why is so painful? Oh, there's just no room for your eyeballs to go anywhere. Yeah. You leave them open, it's just fabric on it. Oh, Jeez. my God. Let me look at your eyeballs. Oh, Fix my hair, Andy. Because oh. I, I want to go. I want like, some volume. Yeah, toss Give me some shit, ball, dude. Just some, like, I want it to be messy. Elegantly disheveled, you know? Yeah. Like Tom dude. Holland. Yeah, In the movie, Spider-Man Homecoming. Spider-Man Homecoming, exactly. See what I mean? Yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> You're not, it's not even on your eyes, though. It's as close as it it's, wants it's, to be. Yeah, don't you don't want it on your eyes, all right? It's like a goosebumps mask that'll Just never come off. Your haunted eyeballs. mask, yeah. Issue or book issue. eleven. Um, for those of you wondering how Jack being here is going to affect the rankings, don't worry. It won't. He can just sway our votes. Only the original members of Kind of Funny's MC interview will get a vote at the end of this episode. My vote counts five. That's. Another way to look at it, that's an incorrect way to look at it. Let's get right into it, ladies and gentlemen. I do wish we could have used this bit a little bit more, though. The Spider-Man mask bit. Well, remember, we're an audio show that's quite popular. I it's an audio show. I don't sure. know if we need to be leaning I would have loved for you to warn the whole show and be like, well, we don't know what Greg's vote is. What's Greg's vote mm-hmm. going to be? Mask comes off. Like, and know. I am Tobey Maguire. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. With that the emo haircut. Crazy. Spider-Man Homecoming, released on July 7th, 2017. Woo woo! Directed by John Watts. Interesting thing, usually I try to go back to the director and figure out what else they've done. Yeah. First movie. Nothing of real. Yeah, I don't know the name. <laughs> yeah. So he did, uh, he worked at the Onion News Network for a while. Sure. Made a lot of those online videos and stuff. Uh, directed a movie called Clown, a horror movie. Huh. And directed a movie called Cop Car. At oh, some Cop point. Car. It's, yeah, Kevin Bacon. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. You know, don't steal a cop car. That was like an Indy Darling kind of movie. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Not cool. to be confused with Bacon Man. Yeah. Not Bacon but Guy. Bacon Guy. To tie this all back. To the kind of funny universe, he also directed segment six in our Robocop remake. No hey, way. Oh man. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. For people that don't Jack know, doesn't know what is this? Oh, there's this amazing <laughs> website. Go, we tell them all. Oh, our Robocop remake is a, uh, a fan made movie where basically when, when Robocop was announced, they were remaking it, rebooting it with. Uh, uh, Michael Keaton was actually one of the characters in it. Uh, a group of people who I think were the ones responsible for um, another of the remakes. The Star Wars one? Yeah, they did okay, the Star Wars I think one. I know decided to do, hey, they put it out to the fans me. and said, hey, it, we'll, we'll divvy cares. this up and everyone gets a scene it's and they put it out to like the seconds or something. You can actually still watch it, if I'm not mistaken, on robocopremake.com. And there are parts of it that are sheer and utter genius. <laughs> I mean, most of it's really fun because yeah. people just, you know, like if we had to remake a scene right now with what we have, like what would it look like versus like the dude at the comic book store downstairs. Yeah, but, yeah. So, and there's the one, I think Fatal Farm is the group that did the penises. The penises, the penises. Oh, oh I saw that. It's the funniest fucking there's thing. There's penises everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Do it! Do it! What is it, like foremost rapist identified? <laughs> <laughs> so disgusting. So that's where that came from. That's where that clip came yeah. from. Oh, you there's go a whole it. like there's a whole series, and it's funny because you'll 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 see people that you know in it. Oh, that's great. People just pop up. You're like, oh shit, that's fucking Hal from Screen Junkies. Like, oh, oh, that's, that's cool. the guy that directed Spider-Man: Homecoming. There John Watts. There you go. It's fantastic. A budget of 175 million dollars, uh, which puts it on the low end of the five Spider-Man movies that came beforehand. Uh, only all the handheld footage. Spider-Man One on. was 138 million, and then it goes up 200, 258, 293, and then 230 again. So we're counting Spider-Man One, Two, Three, Wait, amazing, amazing One, Amazing, amazing two. Cost how much? 293, Shit. which is a lot of money. All that electricity, man. 
No, that was the second one. Oh, <laughs> all oh. that lizard tail. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> a lot of cool tail. smoke effects. I really scales. don't like how you say that. It sounds really sexual. That Everything tail. Nick says is sexual. <laughs> box office. <laughs> and he raises his eyebrow. A box office of 880.2 million. Ooh, which hell yeah. Which means it is up there for Spider-Man movies, but not the number one. The number one is Spider-Man 3 at 891 Man. million. Three, Good really? Spider-Man. We all Spider-Man. said there's no way. This seems like there's too many characters, but there's no way Sam Raimi will fuck this one up. There's no way. It's impossible. Everybody go open it out. It's been great. I don't blame Sam for that. I blame Sony for that. Yeah, that seems like the, the Sam Raimi was like, that's why he didn't do four. He's like, fuck this. You're forcing a vision on me that I didn't sure, want. Sure, maybe you should have walked away yeah. then, too. Maybe you should have been a man, not just about right? money. You know exactly, I mean? Greg. You, Thank you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, like how much money does one man need? You know, yeah, because uh, those movies going through them all, now. it was 821, 783, 891, 709, and 758. For the Spider-Man movies, and then 880 for this one. 758 bucks. Wow. Yeah, dude. Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man 2. It's crazy. a quarter. Absolutely uh-huh. crazy. Uh, so let's get right into it, Greg. What's the plot of this movie? Oh, no, it's a pleasure to be here. So let's <laughs> start. Thank you for having me. You know what I mean? Let me tell you about Spider-Man. Thanks all for right? being here. Man. No problem. Spider-Man Homecoming. Uh, it, it was a big deal that we got this. Remember, we wanted it forever, that we wanted Spider-Man <laughs> to be in the MCU. We thought that there'd be no way this movie could be good. Sony was doing it. We weren't, we, the trailers we, looked Horrible. You thought no. they looked horrible. They look. They didn't look great. They didn't look no. great. Don't do what? this, Nick. You hated the trailer. So did you. No, I didn't. You thought the trailer was Find bad? the <laughs> evidence. Flip flop in Nick Scarpino here. I did not hate the trailer. Okay. You, were, you were so vehemently against so that first show. So we open with a movie. With the MIA song? Perfectly integrated into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We're at the base MDA. of Stark Tower. Before that, though, sorry to interrupt you. Weird thing to note, it's so weird seeing the Sony logo pop up. Yeah. Sure. For the Marvel logo. But awesome seeing like, it and still wow. getting the pages. And Natasha, I got read in my ledger. Right. The but most iconic thing in the Marvel Cinematic The Spidey uh, logo. theme. Which, which I was like, they did no, it. No, no, no. The Sp- Spidey theme came later. It does come later. It does, does it? come yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we it get the, the little. The, they the, jump the, you in, we get this thing, oh, and right, then we right, get cold it. Cold open. Yeah, yeah. The cold open. We're at the base of Stark Tower. It's right after the fight. The battle for New York, as it was known in Avengers 1. We're actually Grand Central. And Tombs is there. Well, right. we're below the, the tower, though. Well, right? I mean, you're inside of Grand we're Central, and you can see the Stark but Tower. But we're below from, the Stark Tower, right? I mean, so I'm still correct. I'm technically bo- correct. Technically, I'm technically anything correct. on but the I'm ground is like below up there is Stark <laughs> Tower. Where is the, the sand, sand rank in this? The Here's sand. all I know is that yeah. up in that sky is space, and out there somewhere is James Gunn's brother. All right. Now, <laughs> true. <laughs> I'll talk point. to you, right? Yeah, damn it. So we're down there, and it's tombs, and he's got he's got this thing. He will become the vulture. He is Michael Keaton, the Batman. Right. He's got a little drawing that his daughter did. From Batman to Birdman to Vulture. Culture. Yeah, what a goddamn story. sitting there and talking about how good Spoiler. it looks and how look at it, everything's changed now. You know, we got all the Avengers here as kids drawing all these. Not Avengers Hawkeye. And, no, still right not. there. Come on now. Well, this is after the slut comment when he was then written out of the MCU forever. Um, they're sitting there what? looking at it and like, oh man, kids got talent and stuff. You don't remember this? No. This is now the rumor too as to why the Hawkeye is not getting. That's not true anything. at all. Just see what I just see what I see on the that Reddit. That is not just true. Just see what I say on the Reddit. That's just see on the Reddit. No. Really you saw that one Reddit idiot. Where's Hawkeye? There was an interview that they did. Slash, where's Hawkeye? An interview they did after uh, Age of Ultron, uh, where it was Chris Evans and Jeremy Renner, and someone was asking them about Black Widow and who she should be with, and then Jeremy Renner calls her a slut, and then Chris Evans, Chris Evans laughed. laughs at it, and then it turned into this whole. Chris Evans thing. apologized, of course, and it was like, hey, it, was, I was, it clearly was an off-color joke. I shouldn't have laughed at it, but I did because I was tired. And Jeremy Renner was like, no, nah, I'm just gonna double yeah, down Jeremy on Renner it. Was like, Good. Double down, and that's why Hawkeye's not on any posters. But now. he was in Civil War. That's what I've. That's what I've. That's what I've heard. That's what I've heard. Definitely. That's what I've heard. That's what I've heard. In the MCU. I mean, in the right. MCU, not the posters. They mentioned that he's... We digress. Still. We digress. And, okay, so so they, they're there cleaning up the battle for New York. They're apparently in Grand Central. But you gotta use the alien tower. stuff to get the alien stuff off. Exactly. They got a whole bunch of Chikarian <laughs> shit around there, and they're trying to cut through with normal stuff. They can't. They got to use other Chikarian blades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just let them go. Yeah. Get in just, there. Yeah, there's some things you stuff. just can't. Bring. You get in there, you dig out the little 17 things. 17 episodes of this. I'm walking in. They dig out. They dig out all the little gems and shit like that. And they're like, oh man, this is going great. And then this guy shows up and he's late. And Tombs gives him a piece of his mind. But before he can do anything, old woman shows up. White Amanda Waller, we're going to call her mm-hmm. from Damage Control. Call. She walks in. She's <laughs> all like, call. this is now, we're in control. And this, you all fucking get out of here. Like, Now, I feel like this is weird. And I might be totally wrong about this. But the actress's name, I think, is Tyne Daly. And I think she's Tim Daly's uh, oh, mom. mom. But I'm not oh, from sure. from Wings? But I'm not and sure. the voice of Superman. And the voice Superman of Superman. Series. Oh, but Wings? Wrong. Yeah, Wings as well. Wings okay. is a great show. Maybe his sister. The prequel to Monk. Yeah. Um, I'll look it up. What's her name? 
Tyne Daly. All right, keep talking. So she comes also, in. He's a villain she's in like, this is over. Well, is. You don't like it too bad. You got to take it up with the boss. He, well, uh, Mark, Michael Keaton Tombs comes over. He's like, yeah, I understand what you're saying, but like, I, I come on, I rented trucks. I bought trucks. I yeah. bought, brought in new guys. Like this is, I'm gonna be in the, the I'm gonna be in the red. A callback right. that he didn't say, but a callback to Natasha's. I got red in my ledger. I got red in my ledger. Her she's, brother is Tim Daly. Tim Daly. Oh, his brother. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Really. Yeah. Who's on wings? I think she just looks super old. TV show. Okay. In the she's USA. got the white hair. I don't hair, mean. So I'm, yeah, I'm just. Old. Yeah. Age gap. Would have seventy-two come, years old. Roy was. How old? The, now how old is Tim Daly? He owned the other. Let me airline. find out. Let me yeah, click he, on his he face. He was fat and ang- and Faye then, was there. He's sixty-two. Too. I don't know if you caught him. I said, don't forget Lowell. He was oh, a mechanic. Who, who was Sandman yeah. in Spider-Man Three? Yeah. Exactly. And Tony Shalhoub. Whoa. I didn't know that. In Men in Black, which we talked about this morning on the morning. Dude, Men in Black. There's a lot of Men in Black characters keep popping up in the MCU. Everywhere, bro. All over the MCU, bro. Dude, Gr- Griff. Griff pops up. He was in. He was in Doctor Strange. Mm-hmm. He was in Men in Black Three. Ah, uh, and she's like, basically, now shove it up your ass. We're taking over. We're taking all this. You can take break it up with a uh, break your dick off, fucking tombs. And at which point, with his other little shitty agent over there, he's like, you shouldn't overextend yourself. And Michael Keaton's like, I'm not overextending myself. Oh, that's a g- and they bah, and he Whoa. fucking knocks him. Really down, good. And he pulls up their guns. That was a very. You good understand? Keaton. You understand how it is? He pulls yeah. up every. Ooh, yeah. it's tense. Ooh, we got guns. Yeah, it's like punching a cop. Like you yeah, can't exactly. Punch, this is like shield. But man. she put you put him down. Fuck off. Kind Talk of. to the who's in charge. Well, who's in charge? Cut to a bar or whatever somewhere else, and they're watching a shitty old TV because this is old, remember? Mm-hmm. And it's it's a fucking it's old, years old image of uh, Robert Downey Jr., a.k.a. Iron Man, a.k.a. Tony Shalhoub. Well, and go. he's up there. I'm Iron Man. But there it is. Uh, and it's I'm that he is getting well, paid as part of this, yeah. and that's, they're all mad. They're like, it's, it's the theme of this movie. The big guys step on little guys. Yeah. They create the mess and they're cleaning it up themselves. And it's all rigged. They say it's all it rigged. It's a system. It's, yeah. it's all rigged. They say right. And they're like, ooh yeah. Well, ooh, and then yeah. then, it, then they <laughs> throw, the Macho yeah. Man pops out. <laughs> cool ass idea though. Honestly, I yeah. love the 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 division of damage control. Like yeah. that whole thing. Just the idea of like, yeah, superheroes fuck things up and someone needs to clean it up. Right. And like, it was going to be a TV show and that ended up not happening or whatever. Yeah, and that's, I money. forgot about. I, well, I didn't know actually probably or I f- just totally forgot about it until we were talking about it before we went live because I noticed in this one again watching it again and. No you're gonna have to do the show. I'm like, man, they're really driving home damage control. Why? Like, I didn't notice this was after the show. Like, it wasn't gonna be a thing. Oh, really? So I think this was sage damage control a lot. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. But I feel like that that was them taking me like, all right, it's not gonna be a show. It's gonna be an MCU thing. So I feel like they doubled down not to promote the show. I feel like they doubled down because they're like. Mm We're, it's not that thing. This it's is not going to be used yeah. in another way, so gotcha. we're going to use it here because okay. it is really cool. Okay, cool. Uh, the, the other guy, Macho Man's like, oh yeah, we got all this fucking, oh we got all this, yeah, we got all this Chikari and shit. Who we are you didn't talking about? about? The, the guy who at the truck <laughs> pulls off his <laughs> thing. The one who becomes new shocker. The black and Tomb's dude. like, yeah, oh well, don't you know? Let's not turn it in. Let's not do it. And then we got it. That's the end of the cold open. Mm-hmm. And then we're into the Spider Man theme. No, 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 no. What is this? Eight years later. I thought that we came back from that into boom eight years nope. later. No, no, no. no. Okay, we come back from that cuts. a film by Peter Parker. Yeah. Oh, that's that's the okay. Boom eight years later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, Vulture lands. They got all this fucking cool shit and Takari garbage, Isn't and they're making cool boys. weapons and they're blowing shit up. And we see the you're tinkerer. saying different things very differently. Yeah, the tank tinker shows making up. some stuff, which yeah. is fucking great. Yeah, yeah. Early on, we're just seeing these kind of like, oh man, these these guys have been working together for eight years. They know how to use this crazy ass tech. Oh, I didn't know that's who he was. We've mm-hmm. seen. Yeah, yeah. The, the dude that's like Funny guy. Shit, the tinker. The uh. dude from uh, Men in Black 3. <laughs> is he? Yeah. I know him, what's that? Uh, he, he I know him from Orange is the New Black, but similar. To, I think that might be that's Men in Black. It's just funny. I just realized yeah, he's also from Men in Black 3. Yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's the dude who works the pawn shop. His dad Sony, on, man. On the, Sony's on the got moves. this roster they, they of characters. Got on, they just they got, got it going on. Come out of cryogenic freeze. Go do it. I want to take a step back real quick, and I want to talk about Michael Keaton. Take that step back. Now, we saw the previews for this, and I was like, okay, they didn't show too much Vulture. And I'm like, I think it's, I like where it's going, but. I always, I always worry about Michael Keaton because Michael Keaton was a huge star after Batman, and then his career kind of just piddled out for a bit, and then he started making a comeback right around the Birdman time. Did RoboCop? You're like, I loved him in Birdman, obviously, but an art film. I'm like, I, I'm like, I, I wonder if he still got that Michael Keaton like comic timing zhuzh. And right off the bat with this, I'm like, oh yeah, He's I'm in, back. baby, I'm oh, in. Yeah. He is fucking in. This is not white noise, Michael Keaton. We're getting we're getting Mr. Mom, Michael Keaton. Multiplicity, Michael. We're getting multi fucking plicity, Michael Keaton. And I lo- I fucking love his character and him in this entire movie. Everything he does. What's up, Pedro? <laughs> it's so <fucking laughs> yeah. good. So yeah. it's so good. Then we hit to the Marvel Studios logo yeah. with the Spider Man theme. Yeah. And do, do, man, do, for do, me, do, do, do. I teared up. And I tear up every time I hear that. I'm a sucker for that type of nostalgia shit, and they did it so right
hearing that theme play where I'm like, they're going all in. They have Spider-Man and they're doing fucking right. Let's fucking go, boys. Now it's a short film by Peter Parker. This is him vlogging his adventures Brilliant. with Iron Man. Amazing. We're Brilliant happy, happy for the most part. With them going to Germany, this is happening. He thinks his hotel room is really small. It's really big. New suit. This is amazing. <laughs> this then is talk- all part of it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought it was a closet. Is still my room? <laughs> yeah. And then talking into it as he goes off there and steals Cap Shield and does all that. And we get an out-of-focus shot of it. Now It's so fucking great. Did, did he catch continuity error there? No, what he land on? When he lands on the thing, he says, hey, guys, instead of what he says in yeah, Civil War. Yeah, because he said, hey, guys, in the trailer, yeah. but didn't yeah. say it in Civil mm-hmm. War. But in, in I this. hated that line. Yeah, I know you hate everything. Andy, you're so weird. But I, yeah, I made that point during Civil War. I was like, in the trailer when he said, hey guys, like yeah. it, it just sounded so lame. So, what did yeah. he say in the actual movie? Like, what's up, everybody, or something? Well, yeah. What's up, everybody? I'm Spider Man yeah. and I'm here to web you up. <laughs> what did he say? Web that like button. Oh, I forget. It doesn't matter. Same, but it's the same thing. It all yeah, just blends yeah. together because everybody remembers the trailer because it was yeah. so mm-hmm. stunning and amazing. Um, so then, yeah, we have more of that, and then afterwards, him and Happy freaking out, and then we get in the car ride back, and it's him and P- uh, him and Tony in the back of the car talking. I love how long Check. it lasted, though. Yeah, it's the, nice and long. All, it's nice and long. It's, it feels like three minutes. It's I'd a great say, way of establishing this millennial Peter Parker as well. Never been yes, on a plane. of course he'd vlog all this. Of course, yep. yeah, he doesn't ever been on a plane. He doesn't have a passport. He doesn't have any stuff. But that's the best. Like I love that too because it's not about Peter Parker. Or taking pictures of himself anymore, and now he's posting YouTube videos of himself. Yep. Yeah, yeah, and that's so that's so fucking good. Yeah, yeah. man, they, I feel like Sony and and Marvel did such a good job with this adaptation of Spider Man and the characters around him in the world of being like, this is a modern thing. He is a kid, and it's such smart calls because they didn't do the normal like everybody doesn't like Spider Man, think he's a bad guy. Right. They're just like, no, he's Spider Man. He's doing his thing. But I love that just, people are just used to him at this point. Hey, you're the Spider-Man oh, guy, man. Right? From you we're getting, we're getting it. I right. laugh so hard at that <laughs> moment every goddamn time, right. dude. Do a flip! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's so awesome, yeah. dude. Oh, man. So yeah, the film goes. It's amazing. It's awesome. We get him, him and Tony in the car, happy trying to pick up the really heavy case, finally putting it down. Uh, you know, he, the whole them making a, a little video for Aunt May to cover their tracks. And he's hitting on Aunt May. Tony being inappropriate, yeah, as, as he would, of course and the continuing theme from <laughs> fucking Civil War. Everybody wants to fuck Aunt May. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Peter is basically gets out though and he's like, cool, I'm ready for the next mission. Just hit me up, whatever. They, we get the hugging scene that was ruined by the trailer. Trailer's ruining everything, of course, mm-hmm. but you get the hugging scene that's not a hug at all, but still great. It's Yeah, makes me laugh again. Yeah. Again, that's a scene that I saw 80,000 times in every trailer when they showed... When they made way too many trailers for this movie, and still every time that I watch that scene, I love. I love it's the movie. So clever. Yeah, you know, there, it's the, such the, a the clever one, My moment. only critique of the movie, because I, I really enjoyed watching this again, though, was I forgot how many of the great moments of this rely on surprise. There's so many little nuanced things that I'm like, oh right, he's about to shoot his web into the golf course, and there's no one there, and it just that, that moment just they they fall flat a little bit. I'm not saying they're bad. I'm just like I forgot watching it. How sure. they kept all that close to the chest, and you had no idea that half of it even. Was for, I mean, yeah. for me, the, the chief example of that is first off the reveal, oh, the of huge reveal of him, him being the father, yeah, and then biggest it, twist of the MCU, bigger than Hydra being the Shield. And I've that never is crazy. I've been in. I remember watching it on opening night in the entire the, theater, gasping, yes. yeah. and then I remember oh, going to see shoot. it at RTX with Jen after uh, a late night or whatever. And again, I was like, it's been a week or so now, or whatever. It's been time since people it's come to, out. It was, it was a Sunday. I was like, what's gonna happen? And like, people still gasped. I was like, oh god, because it wasn't that, moment. it wasn't that electricity of opening night or whatever. Yeah. I digress. We've gotten there. Peter gets out. Uh, we jump ahead months later. Uh, Peter is on the train going to school, still texting happy, a million messages, waiting for his next mission, desperate for a mission. That, but he doesn't get it, so he's got to go to school. And he goes to school, and we get Peter there. We meet Ned. We find out he's obsessed with this girl whose name I've already forgotten. Liz. Liz, Liz thank you very Liz much. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> fucking, you know, how could I forget Liz Allen? Yeah, fucking <laughs> iconic Spider-Man character. Come on. Sure, of course. Throw out the window. Call her Dormammu. Let's just go for that. <laughs> Dorma- do it. Dormammu. No, do it the good way. Dormammu. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a couple to warm it up. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so Peter's bopping around school, hating it. He keeps looking at the clock. I believe this is where he starts establishing that he won't leave because he's like so dedicated to... Yeah. He want, he's de- they got, they got finals. Yeah, they he got, they got an academic coming, decathlon. Yeah, decathlon's in Washington. coming up. He's not going to fucking do it. He's already quit a whole bunch other shit that this one woman who seems obsessed with Michelle, him, Michelle knows a lot about. We'll get to her later. Right, Zandaya. Uh, but eventually it's time. School's over. And he, he, Peter uh, agrees to build. Oh, I'm winking at Lego you. Lego Death Star. Le- Lego Death Star. I'm winking at Tim though for some reason. With Ned later on that night. Because uh, <laughs> me, and, me and Tim have built a Lego Death Star if you know what I mean. In my room late at night. 
I'm missing. Greg, can you wink at me? Can Kev- you wink at me? Kevin and I built Lego. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah, you did? Yeah. yeah it's cool. Kevin's like, it's cool guys over there now. Cool guy doesn't take shit. But Peter's finally out, and he's so excited because he's done with school, does an amazing leap over the fence, which seems really like just like, don't risk that. Everyone can see Don't risk that, Peter. Please don't do that. You're facing the school. There are classrooms and people. But apparently he looked back and nobody was there, so he thinks he's Old lady saw him, knocked her out. Yeah. her out. No one will believe you. Left her body yeah. <laughs> uh, he goes uh, to his favorite delicatessen. His little thing there. Awesome scene. Yeah, of course. Yeah, great scene, of course, where the guy speaks Spanish, Italian, Italian. Italian. Asking again about no, he's speaking Spanish. Is he Spanish. speaking Spanish? He's yeah, talking yeah, about yeah, the yeah. Italian. Thank you. I knew there was whatever. Italian uh, reference yeah. there or whatever. And then, yeah. Como está tu, tu hija? And he's like, what the motherfucker. He's yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's like, great. And that's funny. And then he tra- oh, he's going to upsell on the sandwich. He doesn't. He wants his bread smushed yeah, down with extra pickles. That's the cat. I want to have that relationship with the local corner store that I always go to when I go to Robin's place. Because, like, they're the same sort of vibe. It's like two Hispanic dudes. And I just want to walk in. They have a cat. As well, I just want to like hey, on Andy. Daughter, dude. It's like, uh, that, they seem like they'd have really young daughters, though. It'd be really weird. Maybe don't do that. Then. Okay. Big kids, yeah. big kids, <laughs> making too many sandwiches. There, <laughs> okay. I digress. He gets the sandwich, he runs down the alley, and he finally gets to be Spider Man, where he just throws his shoes willy nilly. Dude, ahead. that move where he throws his bag and it hits yeah, it as it's still airborne. It. Oh, yeah, it's such so a cool good. Move. like the back to the future moment of a yeah, put yeah. it so tight. Gets the suit on, jumps around. Uh, you want to rank the abs now? Uh, now here's the deal about this. Uh, he unfortunately, Chris uh, Tom Holland, excuse me, is uh, disqualified. And here's Whoa, what? He is Unheard of! Wait, do the song. And were they both? It just sounds like the Spider-Man theme song. I don't. What do you mean, fucking da, 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 No, okay, no. It's like were they? I forgot Jesus it now because I'm thinking of the grass. Spider-Man theme. Were, were they, they born? Born in labs. Now it's time to rank them abs. Everybody knows that abs do not count. On extremely skinny people, this Ooh. is the problem. Okay, he is a this boy. Is he is just it's like the he Alfredo did nothing complex. to get those abs. <laughs> just like Alfredo, probably call up Alfredo right now. Does he have abs? When's the last time he worked out? He hasn't done well, it he, in years. I mean, so. he's he's like twenty years old while he's filming this movie, though. He is disqualified. Damn, dude, he is wow. disqualified. A oh. shocker. Sorry, here. a shocker. I'm sorry, hey, shocker. Now, nah, Tom, Tom, Tom Holland, like five years from now, if he puts a little weight on and then has to lose that. Uh, by using uh, by by working out and using steroids, then you'll get the rag in, uh, the ab ranking. Got but it. until that point, no. So he puts on his suit, does the Back to the Future move, everything sucks up on him, gets in there, and he's finally happy. He finally gets to go be Spider Man. And what being Spider Man is is that he's just a friendly neighborhood Spider Man, which is so fucking awesome. It's yeah. so that good. It's our seventeenth movie here, stopping bike thieves to find and shit, a hero. Yeah. yeah, that just chills out and hangs out. And when people yell at him, "You're so, you're the Spider Man from YouTube," do a backflip. <laughs> well, those, those two, those, <laughs> those, those, <laughs> those, those two guys, like the guy holding the boombox and the guy working that corner thing, they, those are somebody. Like I think. I don't those know who, are, but I recognize them too. Yeah, well, they're like artists or something, or they're like someone who worked on Spider Man or something. Mm, yeah, but they're, those guys cool. are somebody, and those those are characters in a book too. Oh, nice. Or one of the one of the comics. But so. I also love that this is the, this is what he's capable at this point, and this movie really ha- ha- like drives that home. He is not he is an incredibly powerful kid who does maybe is not armed with the mental tools of what it takes to actually be an Avenger, even though he considers he like wants to be that right, and that's what a lot of this movie is for me, which I thought was cool. Is like. He really should, really, he shouldn't be an Avenger. He doesn't have it yet. He hasn't earned it yet. He doesn't have what it takes mentally to, and he hasn't been trained for that yet. I'm just seeing him bumble around yeah. everywhere. Every, throughout he the entire like, movie, he's just kind of like busting through. He still through falls things. down. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, yeah. I mean, that's the yeah. the end cap to him on his, like, fucking day. Where he, yeah. he, he webs the, dude, and then slams into the, the roof. The soundtrack to this movie. Another fantastic okay. thing. The entire way through both licensed stuff and the score. This is one of the few times in the Marvel Cinematic Universe I'm like, the score is fantastic and I feel like the, all the characters have great themes that come back in different ways. So fucking good and I can't wait to hear that also, shit. Also, we just blew anymore. right past the Stan Lee cameo too. Well, we jump, we've already talked about the end of the Lasted movie. Lasted so one yeah. line too long. <laughs> <laughs> the Stan Lee cameo, probably one of my least favorite ones. Okay. It could have just been, hey, he, they didn't have to cut back to me. Hey, how's your... No, I love that though, because it shows how little Spider-Man matters to yeah, these yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. You just see him and then they go, oh, let's just have a conversation. Like, and kids are fucking right. spider, the power of a fucking giant spider. True, they yeah. don't give a shit about him. Yeah. It's so good. And Another yeah, good you, moment that like in the theater, la- so much laughter where he, like, this is my car, you idiot! Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like it's his car. Yeah. It's his car. <laughs> Why are you touching his car? <laughs> him on the road, just giving the old lady directions and shit. Yeah. Just so fucking yeah. wonderfully well done. To see him leave notes and stuff, which is something 
with the exception of when he steals, and I'm talking about the Raimi, Raimi movies, right? When he steals the suit back from Jay Jonah, he, oh, yeah, yeah. it wasn't like his calling card like it was in the comics, right? And so to see him from the get do this, it was like, ah, oh, fucking awesome. That, and that shot of him sitting there eating the churro while on the phone with the mask pulled the up over his nose. Oh, yeah. Such a good look. Because we've, we've seen That's him do such that a comic book in look. the Sam Raimi stuff, obviously with the upside down kiss and stuff. But it is so comic book to see him eating. Yeah. Because yeah. it's like, that's what he's always doing. He's always eating some fucking burger sitting up there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just waiting for shit to go down yeah, with a backpack awesome. constantly. Yeah, yeah. I, got, I, I, I mean, why did I, why did I tell him about As a churro? kid, <laughs> loving the original like Spider Man movies was, was one thing. But I couldn't imagine being a kid today watching this movie where this. Where Tom Holland seems a lot younger than uh, Andrew Garfield ever did, sure. than uh, sure. Tobey Maguire ever did. Tobey Maguire, 74 year old man. When he wow. was a shot Spider Man. <laughs> well, he did Sea Biscuit and then died. <laughs> <laughs> He also immediately, immediately graduates high school in the first Spider-Man movie. Yeah, yeah. that was the idea. It was like he was done with school. Oh my god! The best thing about this movie to me, my favorite iteration of Spider-Man of all time, Spectacular Spider-Man. Spider-Man. No, Spectacular Spider-Man, Spider-Man the cartoon or Ultimate Spider-Man the comic, sure. which this is totally based off. And I feel like they take a lot totally. of fun things here and there from it. But yeah, him being in in high school, he's a sophomore. Like yeah, uh, yeah going yeah. like all the the kids that he hangs out with and the way that they act, where it's like they're nerds, but or, or they're they're high school kids, but they're all fucking nerds. Yeah, the way they treat Flash is so good. I love yeah, it. Yeah. And uh, uh, even Iron Man's armor is colored the way Iron Man is in the Ultimate Comics, mm, which is pretty cool. cool. And yeah, Ned is based off. It, it gets kind of shifty. But they start moving things around. He's Miles them. Morales' best friend in, in the comics, but I like what they did with him in this. Weirdly, I uh, was telling Jack this morning on the morning show uh, that we I watched a little bit of Amazing Spider-Man 2 going into this and you and I had talked a long time ago after you, I think we both watched the movie and I was like oh I really liked Andrew Garfield's like portrayal of this I thought that was really spot mm-hmm. on I like the quips I like the way he like he talks it is g- watching that and then watching Tom Holland it's night and day I know it's very weird like Tom they played him so much older with the Garfield version and like, it was, I enjoyed that I liked it I'm not saying I, I don't think it was necessarily bad per se but what like Tom Holland feels like hey third Perfect. time's a charm we yep. got we nailed it everyone in the movie like they surrounded him with a bunch of really young looking actors so he felt like a kid and he's only supposed to be 15 so mm-hmm, yeah. and I think it really plays 100 percent. I think the, the, yeah. I love the the cast and they did yeah. for the high school and the way it feels and the way they all are young yeah. with the exception of Liz seems a little old she, she seemed like she was way well, more she's a senior than Oh, yeah. They play. They, they yeah, put that out yeah, there. Yeah. So that's crazy. Yeah. But what I, I love about this, because usually movies like this or anime or anything, it's like, oh, the school scenes are just like the filler. We're like, I don't yeah, want to yeah. fucking see this. Every school scene they had, I loved. No, the, it, was then, a, it was a good high school giving, movie on top of a superhero yeah, yes. movie. Giving ahead, there's the part where Ned's hiding, and the kid's like, hey, <laughs> oh yeah. what are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. And at the end, he's like, chess. 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 Yeah. <laughs> like, this is, he goes, chess. Yeah, he's a lot like, of awesome little moments like that. I, I still, I think I said this on the first time. We no, I wasn't on the first uh, homecoming review, but I never loved Flash. Um, I liked it a little bit more around this time, but I I always felt like his lines of dialogue weren't v- very. They weren't acted very well. I feel like his line delivery wasn't as great as some of the other kid actors. Ned, fucking awesome. Oh, Ned's great. I thought yeah, Ned is like, of course, like steals the show in some moments. And I, I like, but I never like Flash. I like Flash. I like Flash, Flash. I like Flash that he's the nerdy bully. Yeah, like he's so he's good. totally oh, a nerd. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Such a but great he's the bully of reinvention nerds. of this character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've seen so many times this yeah. jock flash being an asshole. Yeah. So I, 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 I really trip. dig that. So yeah. But yeah, Jacob Battleon's awesome as Ned. Yeah, he still, so he eats the sandwich, calls him, why to tell you about the thing. We still still stark and happy, not giving him the time of day. Uh but then some action over on the street corner, right? I'm not jumping ahead here. Yeah. No, All right. That's it. Yeah. Uh he looks over there, some guys breaking into a bank, gonna fuck up with the ATMs. He swings down and he does a great thing where he gets in there and then does the how do I how do I want to interact? How do I want to announce my presence? Love it. Then he so does, fun. turns around, they're all in Avengers masks. We have a whole bunch great. of fun dialogue about so, the Avengers. I love him being like, Hey Thor Hulk, nice to meet you. Because yeah. they weren't in Civil War. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great. And then Mr. Just, Stark, you're rich. Why are you wrong? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Starts beating the shit out of them, of course, but then they have the Chikarian weapons. Yeah. Chitari. I, that's what I said, Chikarian. <laughs> One, one of the things I feel like, and I could be wrong about this, but I think that was another scene in the trailer that they that they re- either reshot or, or cut a different version of. Because I could have swore when he was there, he was like hanging upside down, and he's like, "I don't think you guys are the real Avengers" or something like that. He has that. He has. No, he, says, yeah. he says that he during the fight. Yeah. He says it during the fight. Yeah, he's he's upside down dodging their punches. Oh, okay, maybe. Okay, maybe I just remember that wrong. But then they start using the crazy ass weapons on him, freezing him. He's like, "This feels so weird." Which <laughs> is great. It's still the excitement, even when he's getting fucked up. The excitement of yeah. it. I, I love that throughout this movie, all the tech that they use is tech that we've seen in other movies. Sure. Yeah. Like whether it's like the weird Thor 
dark the dark world grenade things or the, the, the arm vultures yeah. things are just like the weird scooters they use from uh avengers and then yeah the the weird oh, it, they show a weapon thing. it's an ultron arm and they're yeah. like yeah this is like a awesome. thing that they used to that loki used to suck out the guy's eye in avengers but like a bigger version and then that later we see the shockers things are literally the same gauntlets and we see that, the return uh, of iron crossbones had we see the return of the oh, Iron yeah, Man. Yeah. yeah, what's it? Dunce. Dunce, yeah. yeah I didn't really know that was, was his character. Was still kicking, yeah. still where, where was around. that? He was in uh, Avenger Tower. He yells at him when he's packing. Don't touch that. That don't even. That's yeah. way that, that costs more than we, yeah. we make. More, more, more new or new. Yeah, more than all, I think us. The think return. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Which one was Crossbone? Crossbones is the guy the in guy. the opening of Civil War. He burned in Winter Soldier and he had the things. Right, right, right. Uh, so eventually, I mean, Spider-Man's got these motherfuckers dead to rights, but they blast out. They, they th the gun gets webbed down right, and it turns on or whatever, and it's too high power. The guy cranks, cranks it up, up. Yeah. shoots it, and it blasts out through the windows into the very deli Peter was at earlier. Once again, showing Mr. Peter Spider-Man's lives. Mr. Delmar's deli can't do it. Mm -hmm. And Peter, of course, then is a good superior, abandons these guys. Now, again, I feel like just webs four of them and he's done but of course he's a kid he's, he's a, a new kid, kid. Yeah. he's a new I, yeah i'm sure fighting all these other people webbing his entire whatever you know he's a little big bitch kid. he's being a little bitch he's, he's a big kid, uh, right. but he gets over there <laughs> big kid. gets mr delmar out gets the cat out it's a, and then he looks back over they're gone he takes off yeah. you know what i mean he's got to get out so you mentioned like this a second ago but the whole peter spider-man lies being intertwined obviously that's a that is spider-man if you don't have that that what's the point of telling a spider-man story but i feel like we've seen that and they do a fairly good job in the, the raimi movies and in the uh, amazing spider-man movies yeah but this movie once again does it way better than any of the other times and throughout this movie i think there's like six or seven times where it's like holy shit like their lives are affecting each other in a way that is believable and Intrinsic to both characters, Spider Man and Peter Parker. Yeah, yep. uh, I do. I do love the one scene where Delmar calls the cops. He's like, "Spider Man and the Avengers, the Avengers are robbing a bank, a bank <laughs> right now." <laughs> yeah, uh, he goes home. Uh, crawls up all awesome on the wall doing some really great Spider-Man climbing up there I love, him, I love how he uses his feet in this movie. Yeah, you never yeah, really yeah. seen Spider-Man do that It's always yeah, the hands. Yeah, when he his, gets in his room and he like uses his foot yeah. to close the window and stuff His movement like w earlier when he gets his backpack and he like jumps up like it's so well animated like, It's all motion cap yeah. by James Gunn I heard. Yeah uh, he Moves all the stuff around walks in the Willem wall Defoe. Gets in there, <laughs> webs his door, <laughs> closes his door slowly a little bit, drops down, sort of and then Ned's behind him. Great yeah. reveal, of course. Just drops the yeah, drops the Death, Death Star. Star. Then he's naked because he's already taken off the suit. And then May comes in, and she doesn't even really fucking care. Yeah. She walks in because she's cool aunt and just want maybe put some clothes on and when she leaves. Yeah. Now, why are you guys, yeah, why is one of you naked? Like, are you like, hey, jerking him off? What's, yeah. going, on? What's yeah. going on, dude? A uh, little continuity error here, uh, obviously, with the, Death, the Death about. Star and the X Wings and like it, his room's filled with Star Wars shit. But then in Civil War, he, he refers to it as an old movie, Empire oh, Strikes oh, Back. Okay. I thought, I, thought talking about the, I thought you were talking about the, the, talking about the super geeky Whoa. continuity error that the Lego Death Star he's building is actually an older model of the Death Star that Jacob refers to. Anyway, he, basically Jacob calls <laughs> oh, out. He's piece, like, yeah, like the, the, the piece count is off. And then the one they built was actually the older one, which had more pieces. In I love that. That's cool. some Jack Jesus Lego nerd Jack. shit. I love, I love Lego. My, I love, I love Easter my favorite thing in his fucking room is the banner of Mike Piazza Hall of Fame. Like, yeah, it's yeah. just such a weird throwback, like New York Mets reference that... Why here's have my, that? It's great. Here's my one argument, or uh, not even an argument, but like, is that really a continuity error? The Star Wars stuff? No. You just, have you ever seen that really old movie, yeah. The Empire Strikes to him Back? It's really old because he was uh, born. He didn't, like he didn't say Empire Strikes Back. What does well, he say? He just said that he really. Said, old. He said that Ice Planet. So. But he was he meant Empire because he was. No, I get that, but it, I would never refer to Empire Strikes Back as that really old movie. I would say Empire Strikes Back. But you would if you were like. 13 and have no context If I was a, a Star Wars fan that had X-Wings and what is, so what is the line my... it anymore? I thought he said Empire Strikes Back. What does he say? No, he, no, he said that, that, that really old movie, that old movie with, you know, the with the ice planet. I don't think he they mentioned up, Star Wars yeah. at all. Yeah, yeah but like saying, to his contemporaries, that movie would be old. That showed like right. obviously he doesn't understand that the adults were like alive when that movie came out. So he'd be like, oh, that really old movie. Like he doesn't understand the touch Hey, that really old movie, Jurassic Park. Well, there's been more Jurassic Parks, but I'm just telling you that old, that really old one, Jurassic Park. Yeah, nah, I don't know. Like I would say the old <laughs> Batman. Not, like, not anyone talks. Yeah. I mean, okay. Let, let me let, let's dial it to this then. All right, and this is but stick with me. How would you talk to adults about video games? Like when I was to, I was always very general when I'm talking about video games or comic books to adults. I don't know what they're. I, I think it's my nerdy geeky passion. <laughs> We're I don't know. Talking about Star Wars though, it's not anything else. It's Star Wars. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. I don't yeah, think it's again, continuity. I, don't think, I, think the, I don't think he has the context no, to understand that everyone else. <laughs> Jack's on my side. You want to be on the wrong <laughs> side? You can put like, a good word him, for you at Funhouse. He just doesn't understand that adults know what Star Wars is because to him, Star Wars is like this one thing, and he doesn't understand that. All right. So he's also 15. Thing. Sorry for the dig- fucking idiot. You ever talk to a teenager? They can barely tie their shoes these days. That's why I use the fucking Velcro. Eating so Tide anyways, Pods and shit. He swings around and nooses. he webs up Jack Ant Man's legs. And now Ant Man is teeter tottering, and I think it's War Machine comes over and punches him. He falls well, down. It's War on Machine the plane. and Iron Man, they do yeah. a double uppercut. Yeah. Tim didn't want to stop me; he just shook his head in disgust. Uh, so while you're naked, we're going to dinner. Uh, we're gonna get some Thai food some or whatever. Larb. larb, yeah, larb's coming up. Uh, I thought Jake. I thought uh, I was gonna say Jacob Batalon. Uh, I thought Ned was gonna eat with them at dinner. Well, no, and Peter's like, don't come. No, he can't. He can't come with us. He's like, you got to get out of here. Yeah, he was like, you got something to do, and he was like, after dinner. Uh, he's kicking him out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. but he's like uh, a kid telling him, "He's like, I think I, I can hold this to secret." Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. be honest, I can't. Oh, <laughs> that's great. So Ned's great. Out. Ned's yeah. great. This entire fucking flick. Ned's great. Uh, Michael Keaton's great. But I'm gonna get a. Sp- I'm gonna give a special shout out to Aunt May's high waisted pants the entire time. Dude, yeah. they never it, man. not wearing high waisted pants, and she rocks those. Do you need to start a new start a new podcast fit. in this? About I think it's pants? time <laughs> for how high can they go? How high? Andy, hit the song. How high can they go? With Nick Scarpino. Done. Ladies and gentlemen, ranking how high pants can go <laughs> really doing it. Okay. in the MCU, Marissa Tomei, the number one and only spot. Yeah. yeah. No one else deserves to be on this list. Luckily, we're not ranking her. with Star Wars, or else then Kylo Ren give her a run for his money. Oh, Kylo yeah. Ren's, but yeah, oof, good point. Maybe we'll, one day we'll do that. One I, day. I feel yeah. like uh, the, the, the niece of uh, fucking Agent uh, Peggy, Peggy Carter. Sure. I feel like she, she had some, some high waist, waist dude. Did Marissa Tomei was in, just, in just Civil War. Either way, Marissa Tomei wins. You're, You're right. missing the fucking point <laughs> sure. yet again, Cortez. Sure. sure. The Ebi, How Ebi. high can I go <laughs> with Nick Scarby? No. So Ned knows now. <laughs> Peter throws him out. I'll tell him about it tomorrow at school. Nailed it. Uh, a lot of funny dialogue here. A lot of funny stuff. Science. Aunt May takes uh, Peter out for a larb. <laughs> Peter lost in his thoughts, of course. He let these bad guys get Watch away. TV. Delmar's thing. I'm getting to it. Delmar's thing's been destroyed. And he's like, what's going on? Blah, blah, blah. And he, she catches him drifting off to the TV. She turns around and sees it. She's like, if you ever see that, you turn around, you run the other way. I don't want anything bad happening to you. Implying bad things have happened. She's very gun shy about violence, of course. Mm. Probably because of Uncle Ben, the rice mm. manufacturer. Mm. Who do you, th- what actor would you have cast as Uncle Ben? Campbell Scott. Sidney Poitier. Ryan mm. Reynolds. Oh, yeah, he can do anything. He can play anything. Yeah, I'm kidding. Ryan Gosling. I mean, we'll eventually see him, I'm sure, in some flashback. Mm. I mean, he's going to be in what? Mid to late 40s? Martin Sheen. <laughs> <laughs> well, remember, this is Uncle, right? He could be, he, like, how old is Mr. Tomei? Mid to late 40s? Maybe she married maybe someone f- younger. Maybe he's like, maybe she went. Michael Douglas. Wow. Ooh, all right. Love this Faked his own death just to go keep being Hank Pym. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, the guy comes over, tries to give her free food because everybody wants to fuck Aunt May. Uh, then he needs a new backpack. She's like, what? You, what? you always need backpacks. From here, I forget. She do we? Do 54 we, years old. God, she's fucking wow. perfect. I forget. Do we check in on uh, Tombs and crew over there? They're probably doing stuff still. Do we set up I, the fact that that one guy's still a dirt bag? We pop back there a bunch yeah, of times. They, uh, they're they just tinkering. We, we set up he's a dirt bag. Oh, yeah, Tinker's cool. We're not, there yet. Yeah, we're not there yet. We're not there yet. That's right. I don't think we go back to him for a bit. Okay. Just been checking out. We go to, we go to I was school. Give, I was giving you a chance to get back to it. Sure. We jump to school the next day. Yeah, Ned's there. He's got a million questions. They're walking, actually. They're walking. We see up on the TV the school news report going with. Oh, we're not even there yet. Remember, they're walking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's Ned and Peter outside and walking. They walk past Del Mar's. I think damage control is there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he's like, oh, you could have died. And he's asking all the questions about can you lay eggs and all this other shit. And it's really funny. Very really funny. funny Great montage. They eventually get to school. Yes. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Then there's the fun little TV thing of them doing the, the school news segment. Was that Betsy Brandt? Betty Brandt. Betty Brandt. Brandt. Okay. Betty Brandt there. Who will which, go on to be the receptionist of J. Jonah Jameson. Uh, yeah, correct? which is super awesome. I love it. It's the most Andy Cortez oh, I didn't know humor that. I've ever fucking seen. Yeah, I love seen. it. It's so funny. I just love uh, that weird, like, the hard cut where the green screen pops in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's right? like the curl. I already got a date for homecoming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> now, I, I was telling you guys about this, and I tweeted about it, but on the Blu-ray for Spider-Man Homecoming, there's an extended version of it. That's like six minutes long, and they make an, a follow up that reports on the actions of the movie. Mm, oh, and wow. it is fucking hilarious. That they do, awesome. they do such a good job. You should definitely check that out. Um, some random little tidbits here for you. Uh, where was this? School teaching Sokovia Accords. It's true. What? You and all, there's uh, also uh, the school uh, teaching Howard, Sokovia Howard Sokovia Starks on the on the that, okay, Thank you guys. Thank you. The school teaching Sokovia Accords, like when they're in the class, like that's in history or whatever. They're, they're learning about that shit. Which I didn't is see that. That's great. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and then on the the like kind of all the important 
science guys and whatever. Bruce Banner's up there. Mm. There's a mural in the background. We Is see. it Mark Ruffalo? Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Why would he? Would they really? Uh, the world doesn't. Uh, whatever. He did some crazy shit with Gamma. Sure. I hear that. But I feel like then he kind of got like, I thought they tried to erase him from history kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, I think he dies. Like, technically died, right? Okay. Captain well, America was a war criminal. That, that's <laughs> awesome. Uh, but so Howard fun, Stark man. is in like a mural in the background in the cafeteria. Awesome. And so is Abraham Erskine, who's the man responsible for Cap Super Soldier Serum. Oh, yeah. uh, that's fucking rad. That's really cool. I want to go back and watch that for that. Uh, but yeah, we continue on through their day. We eventually go to gym class. And, you know, Ned's all about this stuff. They're talking awesome. Uh, we go to gym class. We get the Captain America <laughs> and so Hannibal good. Burris uh, cameos. But the, the best the stupid joke in that whole thing is when you're like, you're a gym teacher right here. And yeah, 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 yeah. He's on the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So good. Yeah, the also, war criminal line is just yeah, it's so, so goddamn funny. funny. And I that just seems like such a... I don't... Like, I would bet money that that was just something that Hannibal Burris was like, oh, let me come up with this line. Just similar to how he sent a fake Hannibal Burst to the red carpet. Did you hear about that? No. Yeah. no. <laughs> At the red carpet for this fucking movie, he literally just paid a random black guy to show up. And be <laughs> and you can find YouTube videos of him being interviewed. This random dude who says Hannibal Burst. It's like, That's not him. <laughs> so fucking funny. Yeah, that's excellent. God damn. Uh, the gym, it's, a, like, it's the presidential physical fitness thing we all had to do back in the day. They're doing, and Ned's still asking Peter a million questions while Peter does sit ups and all stuff. And I think this is where he says, Can I be your guy in the chair? What do you mean? Mm -hmm. yeah, every yeah. guy's got a guy in the chair who does little stuff and does blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, one of my favorite scenes in the movie, the fucking mean girls moment. You look over and it's all the girls. And then the one guy from the journalism video, which would yeah. totally be me. He could be life. horrible. Burned. Not doing the fucking sit-ups, just chatting with the girls like, fuck, Mary, kill, oh, I totally fuck Thor. Yeah. I love that whole thing. It was so fucking Kill good. Hulk, what was it? Mary Captain, kill Hulk, fuck Thor. Yeah. F Thor, whatever she said. And then F Michelle, yeah. MJ, that we later find out, is sitting kind of over, and uh, she is reading a copy of W. Somerset Maugham's Of Human Bondage. That's a notable book because it's a story about a young man whose parents die and who's sent to live with his aunt and uncle as he struggles to find his calling. So it's kind of building into huh. her kind of just being obsessed with Peter. Well, one awesome. thing I love about this scene, too, is Peter's doing sit-ups, and he's doing them just effort yeah, effortlessly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the, just, like, just knocking them out. That. Burris cool. walks yeah. by and he's like, good job, Parker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, and then he like, has to start struggling. Like He starts fake struggling. Oh, but he's just yeah, clearly yeah. He's like knocking them out. That's yeah, super yeah, yeah. I didn't notice that. And also, to jump back to another thing like that was when they were in the car, Happy's holding his briefcase yeah. and he's like yeah, struggling yeah, yeah. with it. And then Peter's like, and just grabs it and yeah. like walks away with it. Like, no trouble. It's like, that's cool. Those are little minor yeah. things like that you just don't pick up on. So. That's whatever spider can. Sorry. Uh, no, I'm stepping on you, Greg. No, I, you're fine. This is your I show. mentioned the happy struggling thing. You can rewind it and watch it. You start, but you didn't mention Peter grabbing it. I tried to. I don't know if you notice a lot of people derail me when I do this. <laughs> okay. I would like to just speak for an hour. Speak to the whole fucking thing. Ragu what bagu. You <laughs> uh, Railroads. So, yeah. That, <laughs> oh, man. You, you, you know, that's the thing nobody talks enough about from Spider Man 2. Remember when he stops that fucking rail car? Yeah. 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 Doing that face while he stops it? That was a face. I mean, hey. I know we're jumping ahead. Trailing but him. I love that in the trailer we saw that scene of him doing the boat thing and everyone's just like, oh, they're doing the exact same thing from Spider-Man 2. That's lame. They fucking twist that shit on its head yep. and he fucks it up. Fails. He fails. Yeah. Awesome. But and Karen's like, there, of course. That's such a good Spider-Man thing to do. It, like, it looks so cool. Sure. That, that was a moment where I had tears in my eyes watching the movie in theaters because it's like this is... Spider-Man right here, man. This is like what I loved watching the cartoon. Like, it was just so awesome. It was just like one of those awestruck moments. Like, fuck yeah, dude. Let's go. Swing to that shit. So, at the end of the Mar the fuck, Mary kill, Liz is like, starts talking to the nice about that Spider-Man shit. She's trying to get her spider fuck She loves on. that spider fuck mm -hmm. on. What's to that webbing in her hair, you know? Ugh. Ned just oh, belts, uh, j Don't blurts out, eye. Peter knows Spider-Man. And suddenly Peter's on blast in front of the whole thing. Flash starts walking over. Flash just him. fucking drops off the rope and <laughs> yeah, just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. nah. <laughs> I'm going to fuck this up hardcore. God, I hate Flash so much. In the good way, though, right? Yeah, it's such good. Well, yeah, and like that that character. I yeah. hate him. Yeah. I hate but, him. Yeah, okay. I like the Flash character Penis and portrayal. Parker. I know, yeah, I know yeah. you don't I, like. I also don't like the portrayal in the same way. I, like, I think I liked it even more this my third time or fourth time watching I liked this movie. it a lot. I liked it a lot because you, you see he's not a bad guy. He's just super insecure, and that's how he shows it, by being a dick. He's also rich. And that all that stuff is just a very thin veil, a thin facade for this kid's obvious insecurities about yeah. being a oh, teen yeah, and a nerd and smart. And not good enough. And not good not, enough. Not, you know, being second string for the yeah. decathlon. And that's what yeah. I like. I think that character was so smart because he's not the big bully character who's showing the insecurities by rage. He's just clearly like Peter's inferior in every yeah. way, shape, or form. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, well, damn it. I got I got nothing, really. 
So it's revealed that Liz has a party. They go to Peter and is saying he'll bring Spider-Man to the party. Ned and Peter see this as their chance to be cool, that they can do this. They can they can get put themselves on the social, social map. Plus, knock boots maybe one day with Liz. Or at least kiss her. Because that's what we're thinking right now. No. Uh, no, what? Else? You might be thinking that. I mean, he's a, he's, he's a sophomore. He's a 50, he doesn't know what he's doing. If he's a sophomore, he is He doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know what to I'm do. I'm going to inject her with my webs. Jesus. Stop, Andy. I Probably don't like it. Cure her with my spider. Ned's got a sweet hat. Dick. Yeah, then Sweet we're in the car. Hat. We're in the car. Aunt May's driving to the party, party in the suburbs. Aunt May's still being fucking cool as all hell. Yeah. Ned's got a cool hat. She compliments the hat. He says, "I got you. Wear it for confidence." You're like, "That's great." Uh, they have some more funny banter. They get out of the car. They go in there. Um, Liz's got a dope ass house. Flash is there as DJ Flash. DJ. Flash. Uh, they got pizza and they got drinks. Uh, but if something breaks. Liz's got to go over there. Whatever. Also weird that it's a school day. Who cares, man? I don't. I don't I, know. I, I, Dude, I, it's high weird school, that the man. Parents were like cool with it. Yeah. Well, well I don't think it was a drinking party. But they had no. like, they had the solo no, cups, which yeah. sort of like I high think school parties. No, but I do but not. I, no way. No, 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 no one was acting drunk because her parents knew about the party. Yeah. Yeah. It's like they, they knew. Yeah, like, so. Later in the movie, her, I think uh, her mom makes reference to the. Yeah, fact she that does. Oh, you ever heard Jungle Juice? Yeah. So I just assume the parents were like upstairs at some point. Well, there are those parents that are always like, "Hey, if they're gonna drink anywhere, I'd rather have them drink here." That's what I thought. It was not that party. They were not drinking. They were not drinking. That party did not have you. You do not have a DJ at a party that people aren't drinking. Yeah, absolutely. But they're high school school kids. And it was a school night. You you never never went to rich people's parties. That's your problem. Never went to rich people parties. Rich yeah. people parties are the ones with the like ones with unlimited the access to anything. They got cocaine. Yeah. Trust me, I went to this <laughs> stupid parochial <laughs> Catholic that. school. All these people were way too well off. And when I go to their parties and they'd have DJs and shit, nobody's like serving me booze. It was coke and a, yes, coke and a red solo glass no, dude. and pizza. You also it was a school night. They were drinking on a school you night. You don't lead in with the fucking hey, we got pizza and drinks. You'd be like, yo, we got fucking Jaeger, baby. Yeah, fucking uh, Jaeger bombs. <laughs> I mean, I'll stop, the, I'll stop this entire fucking thing and we'll do a breakdown scene by scene, <laughs> moment by moment. I will prove these things. They were not drinking. drinking. Oh, right now. <laughs> no, 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 my story. I'm watching the movie. Right Poe has no input on this. Okay. Call Anyways, all right, so they start, they're going to have Spider Man come in. They're going to do this. Peter goes up on the roof, puts on his uh, Spidey outfit, starts, but he's having, he's having, he's like, I can't do this. This is stupid. Why would I do this? You know, I, I no, this is not what Spider Man's for. And then, so as he makes that decision, he starts seeing all his friends having a good time. Though purple explosion over there, it's like what? The Ned hell? looking like a dumbass wearing that Indiana Jones hat. <laughs> That's yeah. true. He did look pretty dumb. This was another one. But of I like that nobody moments, made fun of Ned for that. Another moment I loved in this movie was the him being on the roof because, like, even though I knew it was going to happen and I knew he had to leave, it's a classic Spider-Man Peter Parker thing. I still had this feeling in me that's like, just get in there, just real quick, just yeah, fucking get in there. Fun. Show Liz you as Spider-Man, and of course he's not going to. Yeah. No, but I think he just. I don't know if he thought it was dumb that like I should. Part of him was like that, but he was also trying to sort of go through what he would say, and he was like, "Oh, uh, where's your, where's Peter Parker at?" Like, yeah. hey, Peter? and he was realizing how stupid that stupid sounded. That like, "Oh, where's my friend Peter at?" or whatever. And I think that's you think it was more that than he has the responsibility to what's. I do think it was more that. Yeah, I think, I think he's a fifteen-year-old horny kid, and he's not sure how to react, and then like he's kind of coming to reality, like, "Oh, this is actually a like how am idea. I going to explain yeah. this?" Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Either way. We'll leave it open to you, the viewer. Uh, <laughs> explosion. Peter sees it. He's going to go over there and do it. And he starts webbing around the trees or whatever. And then sure enough, yeah, he's webbing over houses and shit. Then he turns the corner to, and then it's just, it webs out into nothing. And it's just the golf course. Just Very fucking funny. amazing. And it, not Such only that, game. not only is it something we've all thought, but they're finally addressing it of him not having anything to web off. But then he runs and the sprinklers turn Sorry. on. <laughs> it's so <laughs> fucking sad. So good. It's so good. So run, run, run. We get over there. He climbs up a little uh, overpass wall, and there's a weapons deal going on. It's the asshole who we'll call Shocker Number One, mm-hmm. Young and then Tom the Hardy. other guy. Yeah. Shocker. Yeah. What is the dude from? He's been in uh, a bunch of stuff. Yeah. I saw him. I'm like, fuck. You look really familiar, but I can't place you right now. Yeah. I, I thought for a second, I was like, is that Tom Hardy? But it's not. It's uh, I forget the actor's name, but I feel like he was in that elevator movie. Tom Hardly. You know what I mean? Where, <laughs> yeah. Damn, that's Tom what we'll call. Dustin checks in. Wasn't he in Thanks, that movie? Thanks, dude. I needed that. He's Logan Marshall, Marshall Green. Green. He's been in. Scroll down, scroll Prometheus, down. Prometheus, Devil, right. Devil, Devil. Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. oh, the invitation. Prometheus. That's the yeah. one I was telling you to watch. I know him from oh, Prometheus. He's the main character in Invitation. Oh, no wonder okay. I knew him. All right, yeah, yeah. great. He's good in Invitation. Not bad in this. What's Invitation Whatever. About? Oh, Invitation's great. So these this couple. We'll get, it. We'll get into that oh, later. Sorry, we'll do that right <laughs> we'll I'll, I'll tell you about it later. Uh, get over there. Weapons deal. Shocker one, shocker two, and Donald Glover. Woo. Donald Glover. Fucking <laughs> killing it. I've never seen somebody act like a thug. Yeah. 
as well as that. You sure. also have There's to just give such it, a natural way. Well, the way that his eyes are. Yeah, he has like, like the one eye that's like more yeah, closed like, than the other. So fucking You, you also have to give it to Donald Glover, who when you put like real people have real good comic chops in movies like that. It's it's almost like everyone else around them kind of is lessened, and he's so fucking good at just at just like being I, there, just, just being, being there, there. but having nailing that sort of like laissez faire improv style. You can just tell he's totally at home, comfortable, just playing a little comic relief with a little heart. Well, like what does it. he say? Like, I, I just want to stick him up. I don't want to send him back in time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't <laughs> want to <laughs> shoot him back in time. <laughs> they're they're showing him all the Chikari weapons. There you go, Andy. Pronounced it okay. right for you. So, by the way, um, the uh, shocker number two, Bo, fuck, what's his name? Derrickson. Definitely making right this up. Oh, yeah. Bo Keem Woodbine. Um, he is in season two. And I want everybody to go back and look at this. Because I asked everybody... Jack, you did to look at when Iron Man lands in Civil War oh right, to God, tend yeah. to a War Machine mm-hmm. when War Machine is on the ground. When he lands, he kind of like moves wacky, and it, ri- it reminded me of Woody in Toy Story Running. Somebody made a comparison; it's identical. Now, here's my next challenge for you all: look at Fargo season two. Mm-hmm. This gentleman, Bokeem Woodbine, he plays a character, a villain, and it's phenomenal, by the way, Fargo season two. He plays a villain who is identical to fucking Dave Chappelle in the pimp skit of da- of Chappelle show. Haters Club? Yes. Identical, dude. The same sort of same sort of uh, accent, you know, like is, a kind of is he, uh, is he yeah, cheating on Oh my time? god, it's fucking it's not, it's so it's so good. To boggle your mind a little bit, in the invitation. Yeah. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Make that comparison, guys. But no, yeah, they're trying to upsell him on the Chikari weapons. And he doesn't want to say anybody at the time. And they're blowing all this crazy stuff. And they're going through. And he mentions uh, Arm of Ultron and all this jazz. And it's like, oh, this is so cool that it isn't just the Chikari stuff they're stealing here. Chikala. 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 <laughs> they're, they're, Chikala. They're, 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 T'Challa. they're not just <laughs> the Chikala giant worm <laughs> weapons anymore they're using. They're using all what were you calling Kamartaj? Oh, well, Camer now you said Dodge. it. Yeah, I was just, I was, just, I think I just got there and I was like, Nick, what is it? And he Camer would just say, Dodge. It. you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> but Spider Man is watching this all happen because he's awesome. And then his phone goes off with that yodeling shit that everybody hates. It's Ned. He quickly mutes it. But then it's like, wait, what? And they pull, they pull up their guns on you, Donald you would Glover. Argue a cop, yeah, 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 yeah. And and he's, he's like, like whoa, 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 no. And, and then Donald someone. Glover, and then Spider Man lands and he's like, yeah. If you're gonna shoot someone, shoot me. Yeah, if you're gonna shoot at somebody, shoot at me. Shoot at me. Fucking hero. Like, all right, moment. fine. They turn and then he's webbing and stuff oh, and he's doing oh, shit. Quick, and like, he is with that shit. Like, so it's so cool to see him in like against normal thugs. But ah, just gives it out. So he is capable, which is nice. Dude, what happens if he gets hit by a bullet? He's dead. Well, Spider Man, he wouldn't he would yeah, get he, down. Would he? Same with Cap. It would penetrate Cap. his skin. Yeah. It would penetrate his skin. He did not die in the Ultimate Comic Series when he got shot. Well, I'm not saying it would kill him. Like he's not by one vulnerability bullets. Like anywhere you hit him with a bullet, he's dead. I, I would imagine he has stronger than normal skin. I do too, but I still think it, the bullet's like, going to penetrate. I mean, he's yeah, he's, he's able to get shot. Though. He's able to withstand like crazy falls and like yeah, gets knocked through all this. Yeah, sort I think of in shit. this scene, doesn't he get knocked through like a brick pillar? Sure, yeah. but I mean, oh, he, oh, he oh, get, a mailbox, get, a brick mailbox, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying he's not his skin isn't strong. I'm saying he a bullet gets shot. I don't know if a bullet would penetrate his skin. He got shot in Ultimates before he dies. Yeah, dude, but like that's it's a different universe. Doesn't matter. Oh, so we're talking Ultimate. specifically about this yeah, MCU, MCU Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. is a better. I sure, see. Sorry. I see your phrasing. Yes, he can get yes, shot. Yes, yes, yes. I feel like getting shot's a bad. I thing think in the comics yeah. he could get shot no problem. In this, I think he's a little stronger than that. Now here's my problem with everything you're I'm just gonna listening. say, right? That he went through a mailbox. He did this thing. We see him getting Catches beat the shit out. Bus. Sure, I just saw uh, in the last movie Batista get slammed into a whole bunch of fucking trees. And then an arrow went through his chest. So an arrow no did sense. not go through his chest. But that was a special it, like, arrow. Hit him in the throat and he it penetrates it. his skin. It does not. It goes. Are you fucking it. kidding me? He just goes like this. No, because he's holding. He's trying to pull it out. It's, he's it's screaming in, yeah. in pain. It, it penetrates. Ah. It's like here. It's like in his but chest. Like right. That was a special weapon that was like really powerful. It is very powerful. Yeah, that's that's not aware. Yeah, it's not I'm your aware. standard issue. That's not a fucking yeah. It's a fucking bullet. It's, it's the same any of a bullet. It's not a 9mm dog. No. Okay, the question is, if you like shoot... That continuously goes through multiple like layers of that's stuff. That shit goes through fucking... It's, if you shoot... Call Poe If right you pulled his gun on Spider-Man and shot at him, does he have the reaction time to get out of the I way? Oh, yeah. Spider-Sense, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, you would imagine so. Did we see Spider-Sense in this? Not in this one. Because we see it in Infinity War. In the trailer. He looks in his... Can't fucking wait. God damn, can I not wait? I also wonder if he's going to expose himself. I said I was going to call... Tom Holland. Tom Holland. Tom Holland. Yeah. I can't wait to see if he expo- when he gets out on the bus and he puts on the thing. Does, is he just giving up? Hello? Hey, Poe, Nick Scarpino is wondering, in Spider-Man Homecoming, if Spider-Man got shot, would the bullet, like, penetrate him? <laughs> I, 
I'm so anti the Spider-Man relaunch that I never saw Homecoming. You're a piece of shit. Whoa. God, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't have time for this fucking <laughs> son of a bitch professor what? friend Wait. of mine. <laughs> he hasn't seen Homecoming? I don't even know what that was. He just hung it's up on his He's my dude. best friend from back home. He's no, If it ain't about Paw Patrol, he doesn't know. <laughs> Paw Patrol hit show. His, his son loves it. What up? Nice. Um... Then yeah they so hit they him take off. yeah they hit him it's, then a, a uh, chase, car chase yeah he's he webs him he's getting dragged through the street slammed into shit slammed in the mailboxes no. eventually yeah he gets broken off from it we he gotta call to, the boss well, yeah they don't but don't call the boss don't call the boss. They, he's webbing he's jumping over the things we get the great Ferris Bueller homage I got I gotta take a step back here ladies and gentlemen if you didn't uh, bring Michael Keaton back from the dead if that as if that wasn't enough. You I thought Birdman me, did that. Birdman definitely do that. Ignore you him. Get, <laughs> I think he means literally back from the dead. I mean, reanimated him. Fantastic. <laughs> you want to put him right back in the 89 bat suit? He can still fit right back <sighs> into that, right? Let him put him in the again. Kingdom Come movie. Let him put him in the Kingdom Come movie. You give me, out of nowhere, an homage to Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Not only that, because it happens the first thing, like oh they're totally like, oh, aping yeah, they're it, aping and then that, he does it. Bah, 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 bah. Can you bring me a, that sip of sunshine canned IPA? I'm getting parched, nailing this fucking thing. You, you know what I mean? It. And then he runs through. The people are actually watching Ferris yeah, Bueller's yeah, yeah. Day Off, and I'm like, I Great love movie. everything about this. Yeah, and, yeah. He, and he does the touchdown into the water, and like yeah, yeah, yeah. bounces Splashes out. Splashes water. Party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, good. So, but yeah. then, then the bit where he lands next to the tent, and the little girls are there. Yeah, his eyes are like, hey. It's just yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is such, such a fun fucking perfect touch. shit. I just, I just thought it was weird they were watching a movie in the backyard. having a barbecue. Well, I mean, it's there. You don't understand these rich people, Andy. It's true. No, but you should. You were rich. It is a thousand percent weird. In context or in like out of context, but it's just there because yep, we know we're doing a Ferris Bueller ripoff right now. We know that first scene is like almost not shot for shot, it was, but it looks so much like it that we have to say it something. It was for all the assholes like me who are like, huh, this looks like Ferris Bueller. That's kind of cool they did that, and then they just were like, yep, wait, just a yep. quick little nod to all you Ferris Bueller fans. Like you're welcome. I do love that he at no point during that what? chase does, is he smooth at all. He goes, oh, no. he goes into that metal thing, goes oh, breaks the tree, the yeah, shed, yeah, into the shed. Like, like, yeah, he's, he's it's not, so fucking yeah. great because again. Again, it's just something, uh, and I know I'm being uh, uh, old and selfish. Would you like some? Is it tasty? Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll pour cool some of this. Oh, yeah. oh, do we have others? I don't know if we have these. We have a bunch of other stuff. I have a little sip of that. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, do we have more of these canned beverages? Okay. Um, yeah. Growing up, and when I started reading Spider-Man, he, in the comics, right, I start with uh, Spider-Man number one, the McFarlane one, remember, that had yeah. like a million things, and it's him versus Lizard. Sure. Just such a great fucking uh, arc. But he's already married to Mary Jane. Like, for me, when I start reading Spider-Man in my formative comic years, he's always an adult. He's always... So, like, I... When we get to Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movie and all this shit, and even the Spider-Man cartoon, I'm Spider-Man, right? Like, he was, like, struggling in college and shit. It wasn't like he was in high school. So, like, when... Ultimate Spider-Man really brings that ba brings it back. I play the games and I know a little bit of it, but I'm not like invested in it. So like Maguire and then even like Amazing, I'm like okay, great. This movie of him being a bumbling, I'm Spider-Man, but I'm really just a kid, right? Like it, it for me as a somebody who didn't read younger Spider-Man stuff, really put so much poignance to when in Civil War the comic book when he drops in the podium and takes it off and he's like, my name's Peter Parker, I've been Spider-Man since I was 16. It's so like. Fuck God! Th th this gives it so much of seeing a hero learn like the way they'd really learn. And we I get it in every origin movie. Like Tony Stark fucks up his house and fucks up his car and like doesn't mm -hmm. know and learns the hard way about flaps. Mm -hmm. But to see him yeah. really, really, really grow in this movie is crazy. I've said it a million times, but I'm gonna say it again. Check out Spectacular Spider-Man if you like this movie and just want two seasons of this because yep. it that it, it's Spider-Man in high Who school. Who voices him? Uh, Josh Keaton. Oh, Josh Keaton, friend of the show. Yeah. Oh, and it's it's, it's so good. Who's the one? Jake if and Josh. Want, Ooh, right. Good. If you want was six seasons oh, that's of an no, even better no, show, watch no. Ultimate Spider-Man. Oh, and you want Die Hard references because there's a Die Hard reference in Ultimate <laughs> Spider-Man. Hey, Greg, real quick to oh, touch I'm sorry, on, uh, Kevin Coelho from KindOfFunny.com. To touch on what you're talking about, like the comics, uh, I think for me, what? What? Sorry, this is Why is the color <laughs> so saturated? You just look like a man. gopher that just saw light for the first I, I time. <laughs> But also, you look up like you're looking <laughs> yeah, up, and it's, it's so great. Yeah, it, it's framed perfectly. Oh yeah, he did that. That's all deliberate. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I I feel like I don't remember when, but at some point Tim was like, "Hey man, you got to start reading the Ultimates comics." To you. Yeah, and that was like my comics re renaissance. That's when like 
I started reading comics again. Like yeah. I hadn't read read mm-hmm. for a long time, and so like for me, this was my like Spider Man that I, that I knew. And so yeah. seeing this movie is like, man, it's so it's so fucking so well good, done. yeah, so amazing. And such a breath of fresh air. Seventeen movies into this universe, I digress. Uh, Chase continues. Spider Man's about to get him. He finally timed it right. Boom! Vulture gets him. Mm. They're fucking creepy vultures, too. Super oh, scary. Look at yeah. these green cool. eyes and shit, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck? Rips him up into the sky. Keeps on going. Keeps on going. Spider-Man's suit has a failsafe. Boom. Puts out a parachute. That catches the air. He drops. He catches in the parachute. Tumble, 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 tumble. Into a lake. Into moment, water. Yeah. Now, here's what I want to ask you guys. Yeah. Because I've seen on the Reddits, and in, we talk about this stuff here. This is a real mm-hmm. Greg Miller thing. Uh, a lot of talk about what a great villain the vulture is. Mm-hmm. And how he really only fucks up people who are getting in his way and mm-hmm. but in, in like like kind of not gray but gray guys bad. dark gray yeah exactly was his plan all along to drop him in the water you think did he snatch him and he no. was taking him over and he was just gonna no. drop him or was he gonna fucking kill him he would have killed him okay. he wouldn't get you okay. think he would have killed him i thought oh, he, was I like, he would have killed him i think he was taking oh. him away from that area to threaten him yeah I that, that's know. that's yeah. i read that I, I didn't read it because that was the point when he but it just he, seemed like they were going straight up well, yeah, but he was just trying to get him. Well, I mean, yeah, he was trying know. to get him away from the heist. Yeah, because when he when he does I'm kill sure that guy, he, he didn't mean up to. And away, right? Yeah, but he didn't give a fuck about it. Well, yeah, I mean, he, he, he killed the guy. And he's like, I thought this yeah. was the gravity gun. But the guy, my, the guy also threatened his family. So I mean, yeah, like that's my, how it's going to be. My read on it was no, he didn't he, if he family. had to kill Spider Man, yeah, I don't think he would have cared. But also, you have to remember, he doesn't know Spider Man's a teenage kid. Yeah, he just is this this superhero, whatever this thing is, is is fucking with my my paycheck. I'm just going to take him out of the situation. Now, to Andy's point that Kevin was getting ready to rebuke, it's. Uh, not that he threatened him. I'm going to kill your family. It was I'm going to go tell your wife. I'm sure she'd be interested to know. He he threatened to destroy the family, oh, sure, not sure, murder sure. the family. Okay, yeah. Hurt the family that way, and that's tombs ain't about that life. Mm-hmm. Then, then th- comes coming up next is one of my favorite little Easter egg or not Easter egg, but little moments in the movie. Oh yeah, take it away. So uh, Spider Man goes lands in the water, struggling because he's trapped in the uh, the parachute. Whatever like it is, a lot, spider a shoot. lot of kids were trapped in those pool covers exactly. in the 80s. Or like and in Bruce sport. Willis in Unbreakable. And Unbreakable. Um, but they, they, right. they have that great wide shot, just that really peaceful wide shot with the bridge, and then it's, and you see that the Iron Man suit go in and grab it, pull him out. Another huge surprise moment. Like, we were talking about it, like, this movie mm-hmm. consistently, like, when he was in the water in the parachute, I was like, I don't know what's about to happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah, that yeah. happening was great. And such a helpless <laughs> moment. And then I totally forgot. I forgot what happened, and I was like, in my brain, I thought the suit inflated, and he just a big fat fucking pillow. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been great too. Well, two really things good. happened. Where uh, number one, the next scene is like you know it's it's, it's, it's Iron Man, and he's on he's literally on like a jungle child, gym. yeah, jungle gym, like a child's play thing, and he's sitting there like kind of very small, super cold, which is like oh that's kind of cool to show him like oh you're a kid. And then if you watch the Iron Man suit, I mean, we all know it's not Tony's not actually there, but the Iron Man suit orders a drink. You can see him like yep. ask for a yeah. drink. Oh, and when, you, and when Tony's t- talking, yeah. and he has the drink and he comes back. The Iron Man suit has the hand out like he's holding it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's such a fun little thing. Initially, Initially, I thought it was Vulture who decided to save him. Like, yeah, I, yeah, I think they wanted to toy with that problem. Yeah, yeah, when, yeah, the, yeah. when that first happened, when he when the you see the thing go into the water, I totally didn't even think of Iron Man, and I should have because he was in every goddamn trailer. Yeah, but I thought, oh, Vulture, and then you they do the zoom in shot, the zoom out shot. You see the hands. And, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, fuck Iron Man. But there's a heater in a suit. Tony's watching. Tony's not about this. You know, don't, don't do this stuff. Just report it. Be a friendly neighborhood Spider Man. Don't get out there. And that's what he says. Like, oh yeah, like you know, like the the woman with the Chiros, which is like, oh, Tony's been listening. He has yeah, been paying attention. He has been paying attention. Been saying, and it like, seems like if Tony would just acknowledge that he's been listening way earlier a lot of these problems would be avoided yeah, but, but that's like, also that's tony's like, sure no i'm not i'm not, not knowing what and i yeah. think that he like tony even like talks about like i'm trying to be a better father figure kind of to break you. the cycle yeah. no he yeah. says yeah. it no i get yeah, it i know that he's not. trying so it's just like on. Yeah. yeah 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 but i, I love that he should have played god of war where it's like it's like clearly he's been <laughs> watching and listening this whole time and like you know even though like happy may have been giving reports we don't know but like he is taking like he's watching this kid. He's he's yeah. very careful. Yeah. In fact, he saved his life just then. It was yeah, like, yeah. yeah, it's like no, obviously he's he's watching. He's tracking him. Yeah, yeah. So that that's the, that's another key point too. Like, How'd you find me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Track. Yeah, well, a tracker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they, we're not there yet, right? No. No, no. He says I found a tracker in your suit, like this heater, and then he turns the heater on. He's like, oh, that's mm-hmm. good. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's right there, right? Well, he's more surprised. I thought when he, they're tracking him, leaving the leaving yeah. New York. Oh, that was probably. Oh, yeah. Right? yeah. And he's like, what? You're tracking my suit. It doesn't matter. But it doesn't matter either way. Uh, 
He puts his mask back on. Or you want one more? No, no, you go ahead. He calls Ned, and I'm going to come back to the party. Ned's like, don't, because when I say penis, you say Parker. Penis. Parker. Parker. Thank you very much, everybody. Why are you shaking your head? That was a funny bit, Kev. That bothered me. When he did it, it, I was like, fuck this kid. The <laughs> thing about it is, he, like, <laughs> watching it's it. actually angry yeah. about it. I feel like that's one of the things, like, when in the, in the very <laughs> beginning, the TV. when <laughs> Flash pulls up at the school and yells penis Parker at him, uh-huh. it happened so fast that I, I thought he, at first, when I, in the theater, I thought he yelled Peter. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't until then it was penis. And I was like, uh, I was, uh, even then, I don't think I went back to put it together. But watching it with a more complete view helped. Anyways, we cut back to Toombs' lab where he lands and he's mad. He's yelling out of the suit, and then he throws the helmet, dude. And just like, don't throw your stuff; it never looks good. But like, but dude, the what? way the suit great. is is made, and the way the helmet comes off his face is yeah. so fucking cool. Yeah. It's so like an old MiG. It's like in Top Gun cool. with the MiG twenty two yeah. pilots, like like MiG twenty one pilots. Like they had that the bubble style cockpit or, or, or pilot yeah. uh, helmet. He pulls that off, and then the other part comes off this way, and he, and then you realize that he's wearing an actual jacket. bomber jacket, like flight yeah. jacket, full Dude, of like. Yeah. What has the fur? Yeah, the fuzz. Can we like just appreciate the fact that they took the vulture? They made after, the vulture after cool. five yeah. Spider-Man wow. movies that they've already used Green Goblin, they've already used Lizard, they've already used Venom. Venom, they've already you know they've done all this shit that we've seen. Vulture is like. Oh, unless it's in like a Sinister Six thing, that won't fucking work. Like, there's no way that can hold a fucking no, movie. No way. Not only did it hold a movie, he looked awesome. Didn't have the stupid bullshit like Green. He wasn't this creepy old man. No, he did have the bush thing though, nasty. and the so the cool. wings are fucking cool. And his mask was scary oh, as fuck. And also two green eyes. And his hair too. Like in that yeah. scene, he pulls off his mask, and his hair's fucking it's wild. Nuts. And he even goes like that you at one point. Come and on, like, let's get nuts. And his hair like goes all puffy, and it's just like, oh fuck, it's just like Vulture. It's like, yeah, that was, it was fucking cool. great. So great. This movie's good. I didn't. I didn't grasp this concept and I don't know if this is I don't read a lot of comics and I don't read the spider in the comic book series what was was Vulture just a run of the mill villain because he was an elderly man yeah. <laughs> that was oftentimes okay. dying yeah. yeah because in this it's I, I, I didn't realize it until like just right now that a Vulture is like a scavenger yep. uh, so cool. burn yeah. and he is a scavenger, scavenger for doing this stuff like, that's so fucking, fucking good genius. and there's a, a long going I'm not gonna go too far into this but a long going thing in Spider-Man that a lot of the uh uh, bad guys are based on animals, rhino, mm-hmm. lizard, whatever, and it's like a lot of their stuff is based off of like what things like that, yeah. like what they do. Yeah, and kind of Craven sense. the Hunter kind of takes them all, brings them all together. Mm-hmm. The Ezekiel storyline, so fantastic. good, go check that shit out. Good shit. Anyways, he's mad. The group shows back up. Fake Tom Hardy, who is the shocker number one, is all like, "Who? What are you mad about, boss? We we got him." He's like, "No, no, I'm still mad. You're being a dick." And he's, "You know what? You're a loose cannon. You're off the team." You should just go. Can't right? use that shit in public. Well, it's because yeah, he's been say, he's been trying to stay off Can't the radar. Yeah, right, he doesn't, yeah, totally. doesn't want the Avengers or Iron Man. No, he doesn't want Shield. Him. He doesn't want anybody involved with any of this yeah. crap. And he's like, all right, fine. You, I don't think you can afford to have me off the team. You know, I know things. I'll, well, I would be interested to see what your wife thinks about all this because the wife doesn't know apparently. And so that's when he goes, "Does this work?" From the tinkerer's desk, he says, "Yeah." Grabs it, shoots him, it turns him into ash. That's where they reveal. The Shocker name. Yeah. Yeah, you're yeah. calling yourself right. the Shocker. Right. The no, Shocker. Yeah. Show wrestling or whatever. No, that's it. That's it right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's walking around. You're always around telling yeah, people, right, I'm yeah, the yeah, Shocker. Right. And it's yeah, like, it's like, what is this, pro wrestling? And I love that. And again, I've said this Please. before with a lot of the different movies, but like uh, with Civil War, something I really liked about it is opening the movie with Crossbones, where it's like, we're going to open the movie. There's a world. There's a bunch of bad guys that don't deserve their own movie necessarily, yeah. but we're going to give them their moments because we've seen them. I feel like this movie, better than any of the other ones, is like, yeah, Vulture's the bad guy. But we're gonna introduce the shocker. Yep. Scorpion's gonna be in there. Not only are we gonna introduce the shocker, we're gonna kill the shocker and then give the other guy the shocker moniker. Yeah. yeah. So like, hey, now you are the shocker, and for some reason his coat changes yeah. color too, which yeah, I assume is something based on the technology. The Chica- know. I'm sorry, the Tchalas, the Tchalla, or so the Chala. energy from Chicala, it changes <sighs> a leather. But I just I, thought I, it was a quilted coat that he was wearing. Yeah. Like I, I think it's the, the yeah. Thing. I think it's such a cool moment where he like again he's given the whole having a name thing kind of like it's he's making it a joke he's making fun yeah. of like oh he's calling himself the shocker well, yeah. and then he's dead he's like now you're the fucking shocker like yeah well, that and, moment yeah. where he picks up the glove and, and like, all the blows dust falls out yeah. 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 yeah it's, it's like so attack. fucked yeah. up yeah. Who, yeah who is scorpion Vos, we're gonna get to him we're gonna get to him we're gonna get to him. We've been having a lot of fun with this review, but we've been taking some walks because I'm still, I got the invitation on the brain now. It's a good movie. Let's Everybody should you, check it out. Question. Why don't you have three, four more of these? <laughs> Let's see what happens. Let's just give see me, where we go. Give me, give give me the, oh, that's what, uh, there we go. Figured it out, everybody. Back. Uh, so Spider-Man yeah, defeated. Pants free. <laughs> Stay close to the Spider-Man ground, thing. Tony says. Mm-hmm. Peter takes it literal and walks back through the neighborhood and finds one of Takala's Jakala's gyms mm-hmm. and picks it up and it's all purple and shit and there's things <laughs> in it. You know what I mean? 
And he's like, what is this? Takes it back to school the next day. I love this next scene. I love the scene where he's in, in, there just in, in wood, wood, shop. wood shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just wailing on with a hammer. Keep your fingers away <laughs> from the blades. <laughs> <laughs> the old fucking He's doing the crosswalk. It's <laughs> great, yeah. And him and Ned are looking through it. And Ned, of course, knows all the microprocessors and business. Peter knocks it out. They have this thing. and They got to figure out what they want to do with it. What is it exactly, mm-hmm. right? I don't know. Then we go a little bit deeper into the school day. What what important story part happens? We're the, we're just don't the they hallway. immediately walk into the hall? Yeah, and that's is it that fast? Yeah. 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 It's that fast that the bad no, guys show up? I think up? you got to go find that I th- weapon. I thought yeah. it was. Yeah, it's pretty fast. I think that it is, quick. Yeah. Yeah, because they walk out and they're like, he's like, holy shit. Yeah, because he hits it with a hammer, which that's what, that's what rattles everybody. Mm-hmm. And then like, oh shit, what is this? Could have sworn there's something because they get out and they walk in the hallway. Different way, I thought back. Right? Because I thought they were coming back towards Woodshop. Doesn't matter. Who cares? We're jumping around and having a good time. You watch the fucking movie. That's why you're here. Kind of funny.com. Uh, yeah, they were walking through the hallway. Guess what? Shocker number two and some other guy. That guy was a guy. Who's the bad? One of the other bad guys. Yeah, whatever. One of the other guys. <laughs> I didn't he's, even think about it. I, he's just, I thought it was the first shocker, but I guess, yeah. No, he's yeah. gone. He's got like a, a radiation detector. They're looking for the signature of this. Another thing that you I missed my first time around, and I've seen the movie multiple times now, but he, like when they go into the thing and like this is where it's coming from, and he's like, Can you imagine if we told the boss we were here? Such and you're like, a such a weird thing. And like as first time viewer, you're like, Yeah, it's fucked up to bring a handgun into a school. Yeah. Uh, but then really on later on, you know that Liz is his daughter it's just, and it's yeah. a, they know yeah. that it's her school and yada yada yada. Yeah. This I skipped over your chest scene, by the way, sorry. Yeah, like, where they pin themselves up. And again, now watch this movie so many times now, I just watch those kids yeah. to see how long it takes, and they do do it earlier, like looking so over like, like what's Ned doing? What are you doing? That's good call though re-watching this movie I didn't notice that but there's a ton of moments where just in Michael Keaton's face when certain things are yep. said or done yep, or yep, when yep. You, later I'm jumping ahead but when you see the uh, Washington Monument yeah. news story come up the way he reacts to it it's like oh fuck he He's knows his kids there yeah exactly exactly mm-hmm. uh, Peter's in that room they look over but he's underneath the desk all fucking so cool. awesome because he's fucking just awesome how does he? How does he, he shoots how, a little thing at the at the foot? How are right? his feet? Yeah. Thank tracer. you. That's my big thing. Yeah, I mean, like for that, he's holding his muscles real tight. But I, I'll let it go. Whatever. It's but that's always what? been a thing with Spider Man, where it's like what? not like that he can always attach to things, even if he has shoes on. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, just his hands. He's strong enough to just be holding by his hands. Uh, but even yeah, the, even his Spidey suit strong. that he currently wears has clearly padded feet. I'm just throwing it out there. Maybe every I, I part of his body has a little hooks. I think it's just his hand strength. You think it's just hand yeah. strength? Just the tense. I'll buy that. No, but he's he, so strong. No, he closed the window. With no, his spiders can hold just by pressure. just two their yeah. hands. He's holding just his two feet on the fucking oh, railway yeah, yeah. after he eats Great the sandwich. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's yeah. Yeah. But he's in the suit there, there though. He can do it. That's what I'm saying. I think the suit Tony's c- the clearly has... Yeah. Why are we arguing about any of this? It's fucking comics. It's a movie. It's friends, you know what I mean. We are just friends having a conversation. Just, just loosen up a button. You know what I mean. Yes. <laughs> Give Andy what he wants. Andy, yeah. is that what you want? Yeah. 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 Nick's chest hair is he just fucking so magnificent. It looks like it's like an artist drew it on there. Right? Thanks, like Andy. doesn't it look really nice? <laughs> Thank you, Andy. I, I Nick, I'm sorry. It. Can you turn this way so that we? The- My favorite was in Superman comics when Superman would take off his oh uh, his, so, his unitard wow. or just the top, and he would have chest hair in the Superman symbol. Like, That's a weird choice. Why did we do that? Shaving. He was yeah, like yeah, born yeah. one day. He's like, well, I think it's meant to grow. No, he way. did it one time with his lasers. From his no, he just never grew back. back. Yeah, it's like back. fucking yeah. Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> uh, anyways, they're leaving. Peter does a little poop, little tracking guy. Puts it on there. He, he's got he's got incredible. Him. Out of course. context, I could have meant anything. Peter does a little whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Kills that man. Uh, <laughs> Damn. Uh, I, I, I'm jumping around again. Please but do. I want to say that uh, life, that's man. another thing where I'm surprised in this movie that I usually don't like when Spider-Man has tech. Like, that's something that I like it when he's more just a kid in the fucking grounds and stuff. Like, the moment he gets tech, it's like, okay, you're a shitty Iron Man. Whatever. Uh, but I feel this movie does a really good job with it. For two reasons. One, giving him the little like spider tracer thing. He's still a dumb kid using it. Mm-hmm. And later when he gets the suit and he asks Karen, I love that the only reason they did that was so that he had an excuse to talk to himself. Yep. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. and that's so, it's such good, so good Spider-Man characterization. It's. It, uh, do they ever explain why the guys were like, well, the signature was here, but we don't know where it is. Let's just go home. No, I mean, I think they just looked around and were like, it's clearly not here. Yeah. But wouldn't they just be able to be like, let's go. And then when they saw it move over to like... New well, York. No, the, no it was like, when he hit with a hammer. It was when he hit oh, with a hammer. That's radiated. what triggered it. Got it. So that they, gave they the energy that. Man, they got there yeah, real yeah. fast. Yeah. Because that's what like, rattled everything. So maybe the there was a scene. I feel like between. we're missing <laughs> something that happened there, but yeah. I'm not going to get it. Was there a scene matter. where they get sent? To like the high school or no, so. no, no. And they just kind of show it. doesn't matter. Let's move on. There was that thing where Aunt May had sex with that wrestler. 
God, I'd watch that. Bone saw. Bone saw. <laughs> <laughs> uh, back to God. Peter's apart or his house with Aunt May. Ned's there. They've got their little th- tracking. They're building. They're fucking with the Death Star while they go, but they're also tracking on this cool device they have, watching where the tracker's going. They're announcing it as it goes and it goes and it goes. Finally, goes to Maryland. They're like, fuck, that's a long way from here. How are we going to get to Maryland? They remember, of course. Decathlon. They got the academic decathlon now, here's in a, D.C. Here's the question, though. Why were they in Maryland? The academic decathlon? No. What was in Maryland? They were going oh, to intercept that base. next round of shit from oh, the Triskelion f- incident, which okay. is Captain America Winter Soldier. Got, he's got like, it. that's close to okay. D.C. Which I totally also forgot. Well, like again, when I, I'm DC. sorry. When I watched it the first time, that went over my head. Because I enjoy the movies and I forget them. But watching it like this, where it was like, you them see? on the bus, and it's like, like one of those like you know a MoDOT Department of Transportation things. It's like Triskelion a- clean up accident. I was like, oh, that's fucking brilliant! Right. Like God, I love how they actually integrate all these movies and universes together. Uh, Peter and Ned show up at the. What's going on? Why are you so laughing? And he at looked like he was about to say something, then decided not to. Well, I, I was just <laughs> like, because I was trying to find out on IMDb the missing scene, and I missed what you're so jazzed about. Oh, Triskelion, uh, like the Civil War integration to this movie. Okay. Winter Soldier integration. My apologies, you're right. Winter Soldier. It was Winter Soldier. Where, where in DC were the fucking and, ships and, crashed. And, and Civil War, because they said oh. Lagos and uh, Triskelion crash. But then in the in the garbage later on, this is skipping forward a little bit, when he's looking through the stuff, he's got an Ultron head. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's... It's a bunch of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's weird that like... Well, this is the timeline problems people yeah. bring up all the time, but it's just cool that like all this shit's happening. Okay, okay. got it. Was it Ultron? It was the Terminator. Dun, 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 dun. What? Um, <laughs> so yeah, no, we go, we, we go to the bus. The fucking you might remember this professor, of course, who's oh, leading the decathlon. Star, you He's might so remember good. him from the Incredible Hulk, where he must have been doing his Intern, internship whatever. shit there. Oh my God. We like to imagine it's all linked together. We're just gonna say it's it all linked together. To it has Somebody to has. Be. I think that they said that like, fine, sure, it's the same dude. I mean, Good must, enough like, I love yeah. it. It totally makes sense in New York. Totally, yep. that's, I totally didn't viable. Catch that. Yeah, you was get the, this, was the other Jack. One in New York? What's that? Martin Starr, the guy from Silicon Valley. It happens all the time. Yes, Martin Starr. Silicon he, Valley. He's the teacher. See, in, seeing him be happy is very strange. Very strange. I very love strange. It. But yeah. also, um, Guilfoy. He he Guilfoy. was in Incredible Hulk. That's it. As one of the scientists. He oh, that's right. Yeah, he's yeah. eating the pizza. Yeah. So, like, yeah. the, they allude to that might be he, you know, Him he has his job. Yeah. We'd, We'd like out. to think that it is. Also, also Silicon Valley season five, Nick. Not that bad. Really? Not that I'm bad. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it. Poor teacher. Couple episodes behind. So they go to Just Maryland. Them. On the bus ride there, they're answering questions, being a Homer bunch of Ray fucking Lewis. huge dorks. Homer Ray Lewis, thank you very Kill much. Kill the guy. Murderer. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, <laughs> you know, all right. And uh, as soon as they cross over the border, happy calls, Peter Parker. I got a blip. Of course, his nightmare. He didn't want to leave originally. Uh, and yeah, I got a blip. You're leaving there. Just this academic decathlon thing. It's no big deal. All right, cool. Uh, he decides if it's a big deal. Exactly, exactly. It's, it's not it's a big, a big deal. deal. And then Ned says something about the tracker and everything else. I'm like, what? It doesn't worry about it. Uh, this, of course, motivates our heroes that go to their hotel room to have uh, a little bit of playtime with the suit. Hack the suit. Hack the suit. Hack, hack the planet. Hack the planet. Uh, of the course, planet. Ned, uh, 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 illustrious hacker. Amazing hacker. Apparently. Guy in the chair. Right? Like, Jesus. Guy in the chair. Whatever, man. Well, you, he's I a mean, nerd. I mean, uh, the, the fact well, that... like, to that degree where he's hacking... He can hack a suit. Stark system. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He yeah. can hack a Stark that's system true. via With a laptop. On, yeah. <laughs> but, like, but that's the point of the school, right? Is it supposed to be, like, the true? contact? True. Yeah, that's true. That's smart. Like, Peter Parker can do it. That's why I really love how they play with it a bit Jumping way ahead at the, at uh, homecoming when he's going between the things, where it's oh, like yeah, he's yeah. doing something incredibly complicated, like tracking a phone, and on the other one he's going through a car manual online <laughs> trying to figure out how to fucking turn on yeah, headlights. Yeah, yeah. Great, I digress. Uh, they deactivate the tracker, put it on the lamp, then find out there's these uh, what is it training wheels training protocols protocol, on there. Yeah. They deactivate that. We don't know what that really means, but great. The suit does crazy lights. Awesome. Ooh. So cool. Awesome. Uh, it comes to be nighttime. Peter decides he's going to go out and make his move, walks out, uh, and then guess what? Liz is there in a bathing suit. His dream come true. They're all going to go eat candy bars and unwind. Liz is very into this. This so means perfect. a lot to her. She's read books and read, listened to things about being a Tick leader. Tock, tock, tock. She wants to be a leader. She understands how to be a leader now. It's candy bars and bathing suits. Peter really wants to go, he but he knows, <laughs> he knows the right thing to do is to go be Spider-Man because when bad things happen and, and you could have stopped him, that's on you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he goes up there and has another rooftop moment of looking down and be like, I can't do it. And puts on a suit. Guess what? There's a suit lady now. You think that's what he was thinking? Suit lady's in there. Yeah. Karen, voiced by. Not yet, but she's suit lady. But yeah, Karen. She's suit lady. Uh, Jennifer Connolly. 
of course. Oh. It, which has, oh, you didn't know this? Didn't know which that. has oh, multiple really? yeah. connections, awesome. of course, right? She was in Hulk. Ang Lee's Hulk, right? Yeah. But the real Easter egg nod to this is that she's married to Vision. So Paul she, yeah, she's married. So, like, the oh. idea is that they were bo- Jarvis for so long. Yeah. Now, Karen is her. Holy shit. Little, that's really cool. But she's yeah. not the Scottish Karen, right? Who's Friday. The no, that's, that's, that's Friday. Friday. My girl Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Friday is. I forgot her name. The new but it AI. also starts with a K. Okay. In real life. Anyways. Kristen Stewart. Ter- yep. Oh, Kristen Stewart, of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kristen okay. Bell. So now we got <laughs> Suit Lady, who will be going on to be Karen in there. They go off on an adventure. They plot their little course to get over there. Uh, come upon uh, Shocker number two and the other henchmen. Tinker is in there, right? Is Tinker in there? Yeah, yeah, I think so, so right? He's, He's in there. They're in the truck at a gas station waiting for something. Spy's like, I wish I knew what they were saying. She's like, oh, do you want me to you know, put on the fucking hearing aid shit? And he's like, yeah. And she turns out she's got all sorts of crazy shit he can do. Do you want to engage combat mode? Yeah. <laughs> now activating instant kill and his eyes go that was so, so fucking good. <laughs> so fucking so good. No, no, no. So no, good. No, no, no. And then it's electrified webbing. It's this. But we hear that, yeah, they're waiting for trucks to come by. It's a pickup. Vulture's going to swoop in and get him. The, in, in, uh, Peter's pumped. He's going to get a chance to do all this stuff. Some follies happen as he tries some guffaws for all of us mm-hmm. as he tries to get over there and electrocutes the lights and all this jazz. Key things, though, we learned that he... he oh, no, it's later. Forget about well, it. Well, the different kinds he of He learns the electric thing there, but then later he learns the, like, web grenade and the sure. web... This Stun that. webs yeah. and all that yeah. jazz. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, of course, of course. Karen, of course, makes reference to the fact you don't seem like you're actually brushed up on this. Do you need the, <laughs> yeah. do you want the tutorial like, again? Hey, or yeah, it's great. And the way she talks, like Windows talks to you or any other app or anything you're using, of like, do you want to do this? Like, fuck off. No. Just yeah. make it normal. Anyways, uh, sure enough, these trucks come by. Uh, Skeletor Vulture Man comes down. He drops the things. Spider Man gets there. Uh, Vulture Man is there getting some shit. He comes out. Spidey webs the bag, pulls the bag. I guess it doesn't belong to you. They have a quick scuffle. Spidey goes down the hole. Uh, Spidey go down. The Vulture hole. Man removes the little things that were making the you Those, know, that the tech portal. is cool. As shit. Very cool. So cool. Yeah, I love that he's shifting. I love whatever. that the Tinker uses it to get a beer out of the fridge. Yeah. Yeah. There. And almost cool. lost his hand and like looked really terrified about it. Yeah. When it actually vibrated oh, and they, one of them fell down. and he's yeah. like, "Jeez." Uh, Spidey tries to jump out, thinking the hole's still there. The hole's no longer there. Dink down, blackout. Oh, jeez, that looked like yeah. it hurt so bad. His yeah. so neck bad. twists so bad. Every time we see the Vulture. Like jump in his suit, it looks so damn cool. Jump back, yeah. Into he gets it. on yeah. the top and he like hops back into it and just locks in. Oh, what a good design for that! Yeah. Well, it's cool too because he's got like the controllers on his hands and feet, so it, it's cool. Yeah, the feet having the, the kind of like the talons, fucking vulture the claws. Yeah, yeah. So tight. when really vultures cool. land, it's but so like awesome. then he uses it to pick things up. Yeah. so it's like it kind of makes sense. Yeah, because like how else would he grab? Yeah. Uh, Spidey wakes up when they rumble in. He's like, I'm gonna have to fight my way out of this one. I'm in their evil lair. Pa-pa! Bumps out. No, he's in damage control storage along with a bunch of other shit there. All this random ass Ultrons and Chikari, Chikala, Takala, Michael B. Jordan shit. It's Eventually, all the- Greg's gonna keep like doing the thing Chitari, and he's gonna come back around to Chitari. Chitari. <laughs> like he's gonna yeah. like do the joke you know so much I eventually get there and I'm not sure what the <laughs> yeah. joke is anymore and what the real <laughs> word is it's the million monkeys with the typewriters you know, exactly you're actually gonna get it yeah. uh, so he's trapped in there uh, this fucking sucks can't open the door they're gonna have to wait till morning we have an amazing scene where he finally names suit lady Karen almost called you as Liz no that's that's weird yeah opens yeah. up about Liz so he's doing good, the thing where he lies man. in the hammock he puts on his jacket he's just chilling out he's learning web grenade and all the other jazz and fucking around and How did he like, not fall in love with Liz or with Karen? She's a robot. I want to fall lady. in love with Karen. I felt like Karen was falling in love with him. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think I like creepy. that. I was into it. Yeah, when she was like, uh, I, if, I would. She's like, I think you're yeah, yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what she said. Know, yeah, but she's definitely into him. Yeah, uh, but it's just like, just she's like the Windows only one in, knows what his dick looks like. Windows is oh, Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, I record everything. She specifically map out his penis. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Good dick. Um, we can't get out of here. Thirty six minutes or whatever's passed. Amazing. Yeah, it was 37. So fucking it was awesome. So funny. So, so for real, like if yeah, you were a high school person or a kid just trapped in this place for no long. Yeah, he's so fucking kidding. Me. Like, decides- I lo- the way he talked about Liz was so good. I felt like yeah. that was such genuine writing. Yeah. About a kid fucking talking about his crush. Where it's like she's oh, perfect. Looks like perfect. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it. Uh, eventually, though, he decides he's got to hack his way out. And goes up there, plugs in his graphing calculator. Ti eighty two. Another great, or another great <laughs> fucking <laughs> moment or whatever. Where he's just gonna have to run every uh, sequence to get through. Finally, the door opens because he well they figure out. I overlook this, of course, that the Shikari weapon uh, is gonna be activated by radiation, and become a bomb or whatever. 
So he freaks out. He wants to call Ned. No service on the thing. Can't get him. Hacks his way out. Gets out. Starts calling Ned. Too late. He's riding in the back of trucks. Laying really flat on trucks, which is cool. Doing cool. all the stuff. Trying to get back to Maryland to stop this. Finally gets Ned on the phone, of course. Well, this no. is after they yeah, won. Yeah, they, they they, they've do- already gone through. Yeah. They've done the academic decathlon. They win. Congratulations. Michelle wins it on the last question. Everybody has a great time. But everybody calls her MJ. Remember? Not yet. That's Not later. yet. Don't friends, fucking ruin friends it. Call her Don't MJ, fucking please. ruin yeah. it. You know Andy, what I mean? It's a big surprise. No, you want to tell me how fucking Infinity War ends, too? I will. His name is Chitari. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so they win. Congratulations. Hooray. They're going to go tour the Washington Monument as the lamest victory celebration of all time. Except for Michelle. <laughs> who doesn't want to go out there because it's no built by slaves, it. which is awesome. The guy's like, I don't yeah, think so. He looks over and the guy's like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Peter finally gets a hold of Ned. Says, don't go through. Don't do this. But Ned's not listening. Uh, Liz takes the phone. They're all going through. They put it down. Liz is more worried, which I liked. She's mm-hmm. worried about Peter than she is mad that he missed this thing. But it goes through. It gets the radiation. Oh, no. Uh, they all go start going up the elevator. Peter's running over there, running down the, the mall, right where right around the place where Cap would be like on your left back in the day. The mall? Uh, huh? That's what he, you know. National mall. Yeah, yeah, he knows. He was just being a dick. Uh, sure enough, the thing goes off. Sh- cuts up the top of the elevator. More great stuff in some really great writing for this movie in there where the stupid tour guy's like, don't worry, our safety systems will save us. And the woman in Karen is he's like running up the walls like catastrophic. The, catastrophic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. like, we are all going to be okay. She's like, the occupants are in mortal danger. danger. Yeah, mortal danger. Uh, he has a quick thing with uh, Michelle on the outside where he uses his bad queen's accent as he always does. Runs up the thing is slipping, which I liked a lot. I'm like, man, that's cool that like even that is so slick. Spider-Man's having a hard time sticking to it. it it's one of those things that on the second viewing of it, you do wonder. Um, you're like, why? Why wouldn't he go through the front door? Because well, like, you gotta w- take an elevator to go up, right? And then you're on the bottom of the elevator. But that he could have used gone stuff to up swing the in elevator the shaft and just webbed it and been like, we're good. Well, it even seems like the, he could have like webbed just, his way up faster than oh, yeah. the shaft like, would have been like well, way I mean, faster. Climbing. I think it was like a moment of desperation because he tries everything as he's running up. He like. Starts doing the slingshot webs. Yeah, he starts trying to go. Also, as fast he's as a fifteen-year-old. <laughs> that's yeah. true. Yeah. yeah, I feel like that was that just that's just one of those where my kid made that was just the wrong choice made there. I mean, well, every day I'm like, I want to go edit at home. It's like I left the hard drive at work. I gotta go back there. <laughs> <laughs> that happens a lot. Yeah. That's why you're a bad editor, man. <laughs> it's, weird, it's weird to me that like he gets to the top and he's like scared of heights. It's like at any point if he fell, he could just catch on to it. Like he sure, but I mean, there's still you are a kid and you are doing that yeah, for the I first. So. I imagine if I learned to fly. The first few flights are still going to be like, holy shit, am I fucking also, high? Also, she didn't yeah, help, yeah. but she was like this. By the way, you totally forgot to repack your Yeah, you didn't repack your parachute. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. if you fall, you're dead. But yeah, I would have been like, well, I would stick to it, I'd imagine. But you've never done that before yeah, at this yeah. point. He gets up there. All the conversations we just had happen. He tries to kick in the glass. He can't. It's b- uh, ballistic. Uh, proof, bulletproof. Cops show up. They're not about the Spider-Man shit happening why was over it here. Bl- why was it four-inch thick ballistic? Is the fucking president sleep there? Why was Maybe. that fucking <laughs> you're not so thick? You're not. That is weird. Terrorism is real high up there. Terrorism is real going in there. Terrorism is Is that a thing. true fact about the Washington Monument? Doubtful. Who knows? Why? Why not? Why not, you know? Uh, he, so the cops are there. He walks all the way up to the tip, Spider-Man style, then leaps off, uses his little spider wings that he learned about, then webs down, swings through, punches right through, right as the thing falls, kicks through it, goes down, webs it, stops it. He's excited that he stopped it. Uh, Ned it starts freaking out. Ned starts yeah. freaking out. Hey, big guy, stop moving around. <laughs> yeah, 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 of course. Gets it up there, gets most of the people out except Liz, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, thing yeah. Gives out. that was one of the, the scenes that I didn't like with Flash of him saving the trophy. It's like, let's be real about this. No one would ever act that way. But him being time. like, I'm going out first. That, that, yeah. that, that was good. Yeah, yeah. Also bringing the, like, the trophy and making sure he hands it before Take he my goes. Trophy. Also, the fact that Liz was the last one on the elevator is a little bit weird. Because it would have been the teacher. It would have been either the teacher or the tour guide would have been the last one. True. On. Yeah, it's yeah. like, yeah. Like, they're yeah. cowards too, it turns out. I would have loved to have just seen him hand over the trophy without the line of dialogue of, here, take my trophy for it. Like, yeah. I see what you're saying. Anyways, though, yeah. saves everybody, saves Liz, gets to have his hero moment there, and <laughs> fucking Karen, Karen. amazing. <laughs> this is your chance, Peter. Kiss her. <laughs> <laughs> like such a moment, and then he does it, and he starts trying to talk, and his Queen's accent drops. And then, yeah, uh, Flash leans over. Do you really know Peter Parker? Also funny. Yeah. They uh, tumble down in the smoke. Everything's fine. Her, right? Love Good that. Good scene, too. Yeah, Great scene. As she's falling, he just goes, bah, and tags her. Pulls it back up. That's good. Like you said, we kick back, I assume, to Toombs' lair at this point. Still we do, tinkering. We do see him look over and see this on the news <laughs> like, of Spider-Man Did he do anything else? <laughs> like, like, just tink, man. Tink, I haven't taken a stuff. shit in four days. Well, yeah. I feel like it was important to keep cutting back because they kept talking about the vacuum seal. Yeah. And, like, they were setting up mm, what right, they're right, working right, on. Right, they're right, building. Right. They got a plan. Also, like the, and they were talking about the, the Gargan deal they had coming up. 
the scorpion oh. deal. Yeah, 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 of course. The, of course, the of course. tinkerer is also constantly making the weapons they're gonna sell. Yeah. Sure. Right. So. Sure. That, that's. Oh, I'm just fucking around. Yeah. I'm just like, does he ever go he home and man, sleep? That's what he does. <laughs> no, man. He loves uh, it. so okay. now we get the bus. Everybody's there. Everybody's <laughs> saved. Liz's mom comes up and hugs her. Aunt May hugs Peter. Everybody's happy. Nobody's dead. Hooray! 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 <laughs> I couldn't lose a student again. It's like yeah, a exactly. fucking Bon Jovi such concert. A good moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, you get the, you get another Betty Brant video there where everybody likes Spider Man. Ned is talking to Spider Man about what's it like to be <laughs> Spider Man and be all this shit. I could never lose a kid again. Again, not again. <laughs> uh, so good. And he's like, "It's amazing, whatever." I'm gonna go do my thing right now. You can't go. He's like, "I'm gonna be an Avenger here pretty soon. I don't even need to worry about it. high school." And he turns the corner. Principal's there. Grabs him. Puts him in the principal's office. Right. Somebody who grabs him. Is the principal right there? I think yeah. it's the principal, yeah. Yeah, okay. Like Parker but this is, is this the detention. conversation? Oh, right. You're right, you're right, you're right. Put some in detention. And then we get another great video where he's like, so you messed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but then after that video, I didn't notice They the do first a puberty time. video. <laughs> so so your like, body's changing. <laughs> Trust me. I know. I know. Trust me. <laughs> and then <laughs> Hannibal Burrs goes to like turn it off. Like, oh. <laughs> I and then Michelle's the just there. Yeah, yeah. just like, showing people in distress. Yeah, yeah, So funny. But then, uh, then eventually he's in the principal's office. Yeah, when does he get? To, I forget why he gets the principal's office, but I, I don't know. We'll get there. Eventually. Eventually. He's, the he's, about he's getting it. suspended or something. The principal is played by Kenneth Choi, mm -hmm. and his principal Marita. He's a direct descendant of Jim Marita, his grandfather, who was one of Captain America's Howling Commandos in Captain America: The First Avenger. He was also played by Choi. The principal also has a photo of his grandfather in his uniform in the office, so you can see that's it. Awesome. And it's him. I was like, this guy looks really familiar. Yeah, yeah that's sense. really cool. Yeah. Fucking cool, that's man. That's cool. That's a dope yeah. callback. In, uh, in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., they have a character who his grandfather was uh, Howling Commando as well. Yeah. Oh, triple yeah, right. So, bring him back. That guy, that guy fucks is what you're saying. Yeah, he does. Damn. Well, they no, they're different, they're different guys. Do you see them fuck? But does he they're, eat that? They're oh, different yeah. guys. Sweet. It's on cinema. The Howling oh, yeah. Commando's fuck, though. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're making babies, that. for sure. Come, Mando. See you, him. All <laughs> right? Too far in. I like when so Kevin decides Jack. to put himself in the corner when he doesn't. So Peter <laughs> leaves detention. He's got bigger fish to fry. He's got to solve all these problems. You know what I mean? Uh, goes after Donald Glover, right? Yeah. Yep. I'm just jumping. I'm jumping. More. Yeah, I know that, but I remember you put on the thing. Interrogation. Oh, yeah, do you want to do interrogation mode? And she's like, well, yeah. Well, and I feel like it was around here where a video Peter thing, right? Parker was talking to Ned and it was just like, oh, man, Tony Stark's moving the... The, he's, they're, they're moving. Oh, that, that's, so that's, that's what happy. I just said. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I right. Well, yeah. We're talking to Ned. And he's like, I'm not. I'm gonna be an Avenger. I gotta yeah, leave. Got Principal it. grabs cool. him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. But doesn't doesn't he be like? Isn't he talking to Karen at one point? He's like, there's a video thing. She's like, oh, I record everything you do, right? And that's how he finds. Well, the right, 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 right. That's right. how he goes back and pieces it all together. They, they can't. Aaron, they don't yes. know the two other guys because they're just construction workers who have been off the grid forever. Shocker one, shocker two. But Donald Glover's character has not been. Great call. That's how I knew there was a thing there. Do you want to? Do you want to use interrogation mode? He's like, yes. Then we get this amazing scene of Spider-Man running up on Donald Glover, webbing him to the car as he comes back with groceries and talking the, oh, 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 oh. the Batman, fucking so fake Batman yeah. voice. Closes funny. the trunk and scares him. Yeah, like, yeah exactly. Such exactly. a great scene. And then, then it's yeah, like, he runs the thing on him and it pops up of who he is and like all the, the random ass information. And one of the things it says that he is Aaron Davis, who is the Prowler. Uh, if you read the ultimate Spider-Man comics from Miles Morales, he's Miles, Miles Morales' his uncle. Um, he's very integral to the origin story of Miles Morales becoming Spider-Man. And uh, he mentions he has a, a nephew running around and all that stuff. I don't want stuff. those yeah. weapons in these in this neighborhood. Yeah. I got a nephew who lives here. But I also love how, he, how much shit he's giving Peter Parker for how bad he <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah, I mean, you're not good at this part of the job, man. you got to get better at this. Yeah. Another one of his aliases is listed as Brian Pacelli, which is a combination of Brian Michael Bendis, and who created Miles Morales, and Sarah Pacelli, the first artist who drew him. So that's fun. And then another thing is my, Davis Morales' registration number is UCS M01, referencing Ultimate Comic Spider-Man 01, the debut of here's, Miles Morales. Here's a question. Uh, stupid uh, uh, tangent question. You're not stupid. How does Miles Morales become Spider-Man? In the lamest way possible, if I'm being honest, mm -hmm. bit by a spider. Okay. Like, it's so kind of, what, really? But just like, another the, radioactive the spider? It's, steals the... It's uh, it's Norman Osborn is kind of doing weird experiments and stuff, trying to recreate the spider, and then uh, seeds. Yeah, there's like some weird and shit. And Prowler's it's... there stealing some shit. Prowler steals the things. The spider gets on him. Can we also goes, going back to that? Can smiles. we point out? I love how they just kind of like you know when when uh, when Ned's asking how he became how he got powerful, he's like, oh, I got bit by a spider. Yep. It's like, oh, the spider's dead. That's it. That's the origin story. That's yeah. everything they, they tell. Yeah, and I also love it. I it's like, love that. Did it hurt? I don't know if I could do that. You know, what? I would probably. Okay, I would <laughs> yeah, do it. Yeah, I would yeah. do it to get back by spider. Yeah, but it's like, oh yeah, okay. We've we've had we've had enough origin stories. We're uh, done. We're good. You, you know, like like what 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 uh what Tony Stark did in uh, in Civil War, where he's walking, he's like, this is you, right? 
Yeah, 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 you, yeah. you, yeah. oh, there's your shit. Yeah, the, okay, we're he moving even on. hints at it, like, what's your story, kid? And then, like, Peter, like, takes a breath, but he's like, you know, looking out for a little guy, and Peter's like, yeah, no, that's what I'm doing. And then he does the whole thing later on about, like, if some bad things happen and you could have stopped them, that's yeah. on you. Yeah, yeah, like, do, we, we I, all I, get it. I we all love know that. It. I love that, love that, that it's just like, yeah, okay, yeah, we know your bit. All right, good. I do like in the Donald Glover scene of, like, at the very, very end, oh, that stuff dissolves in two hours. He's like, no, no, you're going to come and take this off. Like, no, you're a bad guy. You're a bad guy. You deserve that. You're a criminal. You deserve that. I got ice cream in here. Awesome. So great. Such a great scene. So this leads us to, yeah, the ferry where the, the deal. Oh, that was also a great scene, too, though. Of like, no, I can't, I don't know that, but I can tell you where they're going to be. Yeah, and he's yeah. like, all right, great. And he starts walking away and he's like, I didn't tell you anything. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. got to come back. And it's, it's such oh, a yeah, movie yeah. moment of like, that's how really a movie would try to get through it real quick. Anyways, it's over at the uh, Staten Island Ferry or just the ferry. I don't know if it's Staten Island. I shouldn't jump to that conclusion. I took my shoes off, guys. It's oh, hot in here and it's getting dude. late. How are you feeling? Um, jump on there. Spidey's crawling up the wall using the drony, old drony up there. Sees the back of Michael Keaton's head, sees Black Shocker. All this stuff's happening. We're all Flies to the ship using just the wingsuit thing. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I don't know yeah, why he, I forgot that in the first. He but sees like, Michael Keaton completely. Yeah, there's he like no cool web. Oh, yeah, right. like, but they still can't scan him. They don't know who right, he, right. he doesn't they, know who well, he is. He doesn't by doesn't scan. Come up as anyone. Try, true, 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 true. Also, true. how does Spider Man leave it? <laughs> the ferry. The ferry. Yeah, that's what I was talking. Iron Man I thought, carries him. What? Doesn't Iron Man like? I'm assuming Iron Man like very angrily carries him. Yeah, yeah, that's what I imagine. Oh, what I assume is his neck. They don't show it. Yeah, I thought that he would have made him wait. I thought I my interpretation was that he would have flown away and made Spider Man figure it out on his own. But I don't know. Well, because yeah, because the next scene is he's sitting on the thing, and then Iron Man comes back to him. Yeah. So maybe he dropped him off there, and like I'm gonna come back in a second after I clean up your fucking mess. You sure. But stupid what a loser the mess is that, yeah. Baby. Scorpion guys there. <laughs> who will be so that's Scorpion. That we see that's Scorpion. Mark Gargan, okay. who, we, right. if you know his name, you know it's him, but he has the tattoo Boss. of the Scorpion. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Oh, uh, Nacho from uh, Better Call Saul. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. That guy's scary. Actually, he was good. Not he was. I, I'm thinking uh, Tuco. Scary oh, one. Tuco Salamanca. Oh, yeah, yeah. Terrifying. Uh, it's a deal going down. Spidey sees it all happening, scans for the white pickup truck, finds the thing. Spidey thinks he's all got him dead to rights. We got the buyer, we got the seller, and we got all the stuff here, the evidence. We got this. Spidey drops in, starts webbing shit up. FBI pops up. They're like, FBI, freeze. He's like, whoa, what the fuck? Whoa, yeah, what's going on? What are you talking about? Meanwhile, Toombs is over there. He saw everything happening. Spidey caught a glimpse of him doing his thing. Then the FBI showed up. Uh, he puts on his suit. Uh, the vulture suit, and he's just, he's like gonna fuck shit up or whatever, right? And like, uh, they start fighting, and then one of the Chikari weapons goes down, and it gets overloaded, and it just, brrr, just cuts a giant line on the ship right in half. Pretty One day you're gonna say, one really of the Chadwick, one of the Chadwick Boseman we- sure. weapons Don't goes down. Don't get ahead of my jokes. Don't get ahead of my jokes, or I'm gonna go. Um, and the thing starts falling apart. Uh, uh, shocker number two. He runs up. He jumps off. Tombs grabs him. They fly away. All the hell's breaking loose. Uh, cars are falling in the water. People are freaking out. I mean, there's a fight scene that happens as well where Spider Man fucking takes the motorcycle and swings it. Dude, that was awesome. Well, guys are, oh, that, oh, I like shit. that one. Yeah, that was over the top. So that was too and, far. And one was of them far. was uh, Scorpion, who yeah. ends up getting really fucked. Well, in Scorpion space. gets hit by a car. Yeah. Like yeah. one of the cars comes out and just takes him into the water. Well, he's yeah. hanging off the boat. Yeah, yeah. the car comes against him. He gets him. jacked. Yeah. Uh, so then Spidey starts swinging through the broken thing. Web, 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 web. Karen's helping. She's showing structural points. But I fucking happen. love it because he's going through and it's so Marvel vs. Capcom of like web grenade, the stun grenade, this grenade, web grenade. And he's just fucking going through. Calling out his yeah. moves. So tight. And Karen's being like, great job. You succeeded 98%. <laughs> yeah. 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 Before, yeah. before then, there's a great guy who's like, yeah, Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, you just succeeded 98. 98. And he said the one party missed or whatever and the whole thing starts coming apart. And then so it all starts fixing itself. He's like, what's going on? And then, boom, it's Iron Man pushing on the other side. He's like, oh, hello, Spider-Man. Big fan or whatever he says. Well, there it is. And he's got his other things coming from space. They come. They put the ship back together. <laughs> that thing is so cool. Yeah, Spider-Man. Or then Iron Man's running through, welding everything back together for good enough or whatever. Another one of those very niche... Tony Stark products of like hey he's got a thing for everything yeah this is just he's like in case Batman. a boat gets soldered <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, also you can use, use that on different things well, yeah, at, at yeah this, sure at this point I think we're also like so close to his like main base right oh like, yeah I mean we're close right there. yeah we're close to upstate New York I didn't question it I, I just thought it was hilarious it's just he funny that he's got something exactly for what to do when a boat got dissected yeah sure uh, Spider Man swinging along while he welds like what can I do what can I do to help he's like you've done enough. And they show, yeah, he fixed it. And then the same guy's like, yeah, Iron Man, which I thought was great. <laughs> yeah. Just fucking Spider-Man having to see all his, uh, his uh, fanfare go away. <laughs> and then either Iron Man carries him or he makes him somehow swing his ass back over there and make him feel like an idiot. Yeah. I will say there's a lot of this movie looked and was amazing. Choreography, great. Uh, all this stuff, great. Whatever reason, 
This shot is the worst shot in any of like the phase two. They movies. get yeah, it's we're not so there. Fake. We get to the top where Spider Man's sitting. Yeah, then Iron Man's suit comes in. Peter starts yelling at him, getting a bit. You know, you're not even here. That's how much you care. And, Iron, and Tony Stark, uh, Robert Downey Jr. comes out. And yes, the green screening is awful. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. it's just like huh. yeah, yeah, you know, like New York right. in the background is just it's the wrong uh, blur ratio to where yeah. they're at. The lighting is perfect and there's no shadows on them whatsoever. You're like that's not how all sun that works. said. I think the str- scene is so powerful and well oh, done I care, that right? like Just, I at first you're like oh and then I'm like oh I'm lost in the moment of yeah. like yeah totally being like I, yeah. I fucking stood up for you and I should have pointed out that yeah you know he did the graduation protocol on his own or whatever when he took off training wheels and then on the way to the boat uh, Tony did call him right and Aunt May called him and he ignored it Tony called and overrid it and was like hey you know congratulations you've done this and I'm really proud of you and he was clearly getting ready I think to be like it's time for you to you know, we're gonna take off your training wheels we're gonna do this we're really proud of what yeah. you did in DC and he hung up on him instead so I, and so then we're here and it's like Tony just being a disappointed parent you didn't do this he's like god I sound like my dad yeah and then yeah, and, yeah exactly and then uh, Spider-Man being like well you know you didn't fucking listen I've been trying to tell you about this problem I told you about all these different things. And he'd be like, I didn't listen. Who do you think called the FBI? And again, if Tony would just communicate. Yeah, all you fathers communicate. out there, communicate with your fucking You should have told you know Poe I mean? that you were going to call Poe back and apologize right now. No, I just made Poe a stronger person. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, and also to know never to answer the phone when I call her in work hours. <laughs> yeah, I love him totally being like, no, shut up. Let yeah, me I'm fucking talk. Talking. An adult, yeah, adult talking. I love that. Now. It's yeah. so good. And so the moral of the story is I'm taking the suit back. You're not ready for it. To which Spider-Man says, or Peter says, without the suit, I'm nothing. And he says, if you're nothing without the suit, you don't, you're, you're you nothing. Yeah, you're not, yeah, you don't deserve to. Good Iron fucking Man. line. Yeah, yeah. so good. There's the other so line good. too. They're like, I want to be like you. Like, I want you to be better. better. Yeah, exactly, good exactly. Line, yeah. Uh, I don't have clothes here either. I have no clothes. And Tony's like, we'll sort that out. And so he puts him in like fucking tourist garbage in New York clothes. <laughs> By the way, I don't, I, I, I don't know how many there were, but there were so many hilariously bad science pun shirts. Oh yeah, yeah. So all the many. shirts are so bad. One of them yeah. that uh, he's wearing the in, the, in the last it, scene of the movie is the same shirt that Pepper Potts was wearing in Iron Man Three. Can we infer anything from this? Bow chicka. No. Bow wow. Yes, we can. At we one can. point, Tom Holland got his fuck on with Jesus that. Jesus oh, Christ. Christ. So hot. Fucking You're hell, making man. shit up. You can't say that. Man. He called they both it. wore the rumor. same shirt. That's he's, impossible he's unless 15, you fucked. Dude. Impossible. That's what about all the people works? who wear kind of funny shirts that you own? They've all fucked. All oh, wow. Tim, Tim, you all of them. Just do the math, Greg. <laughs> Sorry, my apologies. Anyways, he gets home. Aunt May livid. She's been through a lot. Also, there was a line way back where Ned, when Ned, Ned was like, "May doesn't know," and he's like, "No, I couldn't put her through that. You know, she's been through too much." Livid that she couldn't get in touch with Peter today and wondering what's going on. Yeah, I spit a little. Yeah, sorry. Happens. <laughs> uh, and then Peter, on the verge of tears, says he lost the Stark internship. Still lying a bit, but he lost the Stark internship, and that's what's going on. She Not totally lying, sure. lying about the internship being. Sure, you know what? Sure, what he did sure. lose it. She pivots and is good aunt from there on. It tells him he smells it like garbage. He needs. I love that. <laughs> yeah, Grace. So. He does. He cleans up. But uh, back to Tombs and the the, the gang. Uh, shocker number two. He wants to get out of the game. He's like, I gotta get you. You're telling me like we were fucking nobody knew us, and now we got fucking Iron Man, Spider Man, and the fucking FBI. It's too hot. We got to get out of here. To which Tombs is like, all right, well, what if you know Tinker? Well, Tombs is like, what if we do the high altitude thing? One last job. The big score. Be done with all of this. Tinker is super excited. Uh, shocker number shocker. two. Sure. 180. Okay. Okay, yeah. cool. One you know more. What? That makes sense. I'm sure I should we, be I'm on sure the, run we can get the FBI and all these people who have a global defense network like Tony Stark, but fuck it. Let's we just can go do it steal one from more him time. Instead. We can do this one more time. <laughs> steal from the Let's guy. Let's actually steal from him. Yeah. From the guy that I was just telling you, I was warning you about. Who just fuck saved it. New York from giant aliens. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. Uh, so back to school, though. Peter Parker now, just going to be Peter Parker. A classic Peter Parker move. Spider Man's been robbed away from him. All right, cool. He gets good at school again, knows Spanish really well. He's doing. He's yeah, going to classes. He does. He's having a good time. He's Me gusta being, hacer la tarea. What does that mean? I love to do homework. Oh, okay, good. I like to do homework. I like. I mean, down. I like. Which man, the ones I love. That me encanta. Me, 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 love. me encanta. Remember me. Like, uh, <laughs> me te amo. Anyways, he's being a good student now. He's going to focus on that. I think. I think it's, I, I was like, man, a lot of time's passing. And I think it turned out to be like a week, but it doesn't matter. Uh, he r- runs into Liz in the hall with his huge bathroom pass, which I loved. Uh, finally gets up the gusto to ask her to homecoming. So Does good. she doesn't have a date? We're going homecoming. Yeah. I love that scene because they're, they're standing side by side. Like they don't, they're not looking at each yeah, other. Yeah, such eyes. a like, kid like, thing. Yeah, like, like kids so want to do. Tall, yeah, yeah. and such a kid so thing. So short, such a, such but they're like so nervous, thing. like talking to each other, like yeah, I like you, I like yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like such a fun little moment. It's awesome. To which Peter then runs home. Aunt May, I need your help because apparently homecoming's tonight. Fucking, this is happening fast, but whatever. <laughs> they watch a YouTube tutorial for ties. You got any Rob funny Easter eggs about that? No, 
Now, but I will say what? a That's shout out to uh, his suit and all black uh, Chuck Taylor, or, uh, yeah, yep. Converse. Yeah, yeah, those are dope. Those those are really cool. Cool. Smart choice, kid. Smart choice. The game. He gets it on. He gets the suit on. Everything. Great, great. scene. That whole thing. The like the montage of them getting ready with that man. I'm like, this is not mistaken. That man wearing those uh, the, high like the, the the red high waisted pants. Mm-hmm. Still looking good. Good. Mm-hmm. It's true. In the car, we drive over to Liz's house. We've seen this house before. What are you gonna do? Don't be creepy. Hands on the side. Awesome. Great. He gets out there, rings the doorbell. Biggest reveal in the dun, MC dun, universe. Dun, dun. So Everyone's good. heart stopped. Oh, there it is. Such the a vulture. punch to the nuts. Because oh, I remember watching yeah. in theater and be like, "How the fuck did he find?" Oh fuck! Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. fuck! That's the thing. Yeah. There's that moment where you don't you know what's it. going yeah. on. Yeah. You saw her mom earlier in the movie, but you wouldn't put together because people are just like, "Oh, there's different races." We're yeah. inherently yeah. racist. Yeah. yeah. See, yeah. I didn't even remember that. I don't remember seeing the mom early on. Like it wasn't until the mom walks in there. Oh, hey, Peter. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. This is fucking awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and yeah, just oh, my fucking such amazing. Just amazing all over the place. It's like seeing Tombs as, again, a human. Because even though he's been, his motivations or whatever, he got fucked over by the man. I get it. But it's still like, whatever. You're a villain. You're killing a dude without caring about it. Mm-hmm. Whatever. But like to get there and he's just trying to be a dad. And he's just trying to be a family guy. And, like, oh, and all of the moments are punctuated by that just normal, like, she's embarrassed. The mom wants to take pictures. And this look on Peter's face. Yeah. Just Peter's like, just like still sh- processing. Smile for the yeah, camera. Smile. He's like, <laughs> 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 and he won't so take good. his eyes off. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. I love like, it. Well, I love I'll have show first tonight. Come on. Pedro, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, he's like, but he's like cleaning the knife and yeah, stuff, yeah, like yeah, just yeah. like yeah. subtly. Like, right so answer, you want, a, you want a bourbon? You want a scotch? Right yeah. Right Kevin, answer. what do you got? You're over there. I was gonna say in the movie theaters when that happened. I don't think I've ever like a shared experience gasp like that. Yeah, where everyone went. <gasps> yeah. It was so yeah, well it was done. So it was well so done. well done. Marvel movie. And it's that With thing the where like villain, the thing that's never good in these movies. It yeah. all clicks together, right? Of like when you're looking at the fucking drawing that what we would learn would be yep. Liz's of like she got talent and all this stuff. Like, Fuck. And then yeah, like the uh, Washington Monument thing. And like, can you imagine if the boss knew where we were? It's just like wow, what a great fucking. So there were so many signs, but we just didn't put it together because it could have been read so many different ways. And then again. Just like the worst case scenario for things that are happening. Peter's just being so quiet that everybody starts pulling information from him. And the same thing you'd all think as human beings, right? Of even, and like, even if you weren't this connected to it, it'd just be like, oh, that's interesting. Spider-Man showed up in DC the same time these Queens kids did. Yeah. And he's always in Queens. Like somebody would start being like, yeah, but like. And then she makes the connection like, oh, Peter knows Spider-Man. Yeah, he wasn't yeah. even there for that part of it. And da-da-da. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, he, le- he, left the, he, he left the party. He left the party early. The, car like, the whole time, uh, my butthole was The music playing. was so good. Yeah. And like Michael Keaton slowly Michael Keaton's putting eyes. it all together. There, well, there's, that, uh, there's that shot where he stopped at the stoplight. And, and the light red turns green. And then just like it clicks over to green, it's like, oh, good thing old friend Spider Man was there. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was just like, oh, uh, no. dad. Good yeah. old Spider Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so awesome. Oh. So fucking good. Uh, Rolls well. up to the old school for homecoming. Liz, Liz, get I out. Give, I gotta give Peter the old the talk. He does like such a great face. The talk, dad, yeah. talk. <laughs> yeah, and then he turns around with his gun. Yeah, so <laughs> which was yeah. like so I'm fucking intense. He immediately has a gun out. Shit. Like, oh. And this was the thing that, this was the thing like uh, originally go back and watching it, you're like, why wouldn't Peter have just fucked him up in that? But you realize how intimidating he oh, is yeah. He's a kid mm-hmm. still. And how yeah. there's so much. And, like, and it's your girlfriend. He loves, yeah, he loves Liz. He doesn't, like, it's too much for him to deal with. And it's, he needs those extra like. Well, he does the same to, thing that every kidnapper does, right? Or every fucking weird molester does, where he like threatens the family. And like you figure yeah. that's why Peter wears the mask. He wears the mask, right? Because mm-hmm. he doesn't. He's out to make sure Uncle Ben's death never happens again to anybody. But in the same breath, he doesn't want his shit to come home to Aunt May. Right. Yeah. And so like it isn't as simple. I remember when we did the original review for this. We had a, a very short conversation about it before it all processed. Of just like, yeah, I would have grabbed the gun and punched him. You know what I mean? Or like yeah. this, or been like, God, I'm not fucking afraid of you, but I'm also Go dance. 35 and like I'm ready to be Spider-Man. Bite well, me. <laughs> you little, know what I mean? <laughs> little does Michael yeah. Keaton know Spider-Man invulnerable to bullets, right, Kevin? I know. That's true. Like, we didn't know that. Well, point blank po- range, you'd po- spit po- it back out. Point, yeah. point blank to the face, I think. Maybe, yeah, it's just maybe maybe it just bounces ping off. Pong. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> ping pong. Oh, so <laughs> totally dazed in like he says thank you for saving his life. That, that was when you crossed the line, Vulture. You know, up until then I was like, I hear don't make me thank you for you know fucking call me on my shit. And then the most unrealistic thing of this entire movie, they walk into the homecoming dance. Sure. And an obscure flock of seagull song is playing. It's 80s. There's night. not a god. To, oh, is it's that an 80s, 80s prom. It's an 80s, you know 80s prom. Hey, man, I'm yeah. fucking Don't wrong. talk shit about <laughs> 80s prom. <laughs> Although, okay. at an 80s prom, they would still never play that June song. 30th. Oh, I forgot another important part of the, the car conversation, right? Doesn't he, like, talk to him about saving his daughter? 
Yeah, he said, yeah. No yeah. reason why you're alive right now. I'm letting you go no because of this, but yeah. walk away right now. This yeah. is like a chance. And what's weird is you're like, oh, is he just going to shoot him in the back when he gets up? No, he actually like, he's like, legit, this is a deal. You just walk like, away, Vulture. be a kid, forget any of this shit, and we're, we're straight and we're cool. What do you got for me, Kev? I just, Vulture's a lot of honor. Honor he is honor, man. Him, yeah. He's honorable. Well, I mean, like, like that's the whole thing is like when we get to the conversation he has beneath the ground with him, I, I do believe him when he's like, I admire your gusto. Yeah. You're just like me. You're yeah. the little guy and a fucking Tony Stark and everybody in their tower. They don't give a yeah. shit about us. Yeah. We fight over scraps. Anyways, though, goes in there. All the weight of being Spider Man catches up to what's happening. And, like, yeah, he just walks right over to Liz and go. says, I got to go. I'm sorry. This sucks or whatever. Now, Runs out and then starts tearing off. By the way, close. love the fuck. No, he doesn't run. He rolls over to the, the lockers and he has that cool thing he does where he just lifts all of them up and grabs <laughs> yeah. his grab bag and then goes. Another go bag or grab bag, as but is that, my mother would call it. Is that a secret thing that, like, she'll put in there? Like, how no, do I think he just, No, that's he his just stuff. He showed it earlier. Went. That was his old suit. Yeah. Like he had a suit. He had that no, suit. No, but like, how do the lockers just lift up like that? Because they're they're all, just oh, because like, I mean, if you were strong enough, you could lift yeah, shitty lockers just, in yeah, a shitty New York just, Those are all like, oh, together. Oh, okay. Because for some reason, like at first glance, I thought that it was like this, like a secret doorway that somebody oh, would no, have in a room. Oh, no, really strong. Yeah, and they can lift up okay. lockers. That was really cool. So I was like, like, aren't they just in the wall? I don't know. I was confused by that. So yeah, runs outside trying to put everything on and bam, there he is. Shocker number two. Now, how did shocker number two get there that You figure I... The boss called him and was like, hey, you got... I, this is where it's a little weird. Of like, hey, you got to go to this homecoming and see if Spider-Man shows up. Or did he say, hey, Spider-Man's at the home... I just... Because there's another thing of like... Doesn't he say like... The boss told me to wait here or something like that. Something like that. Yeah. But the it's boss just like, said you might try something, yeah. sort of thing. I just yeah. wonder if he knows Peter Parker Spider Man. I, I don't think he does. I don't think he knows who it is. Yeah. I'm sure it was just like Spider Man might be coming out of here. Mm, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. That, but he also got there instantaneously. Yeah, that was. I was like, that would have. You got there real fast. But whatever, it's a movie. That's fair. We get a cool so, fight. So we think Shocker number two doesn't know Peter Parker or Spider Man. Correct. Okay, yeah. that makes but sense. But we also don't really know how long it took Peter to do all that shit. Yeah, like, yeah. Who knows? That well, at least taken. a half hour for, to to accommodate for traffic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was gonna say New New shocker, York. or maybe they have tech where the shockers just like could he was down the street, shit. Starbucks. Yeah. Yeah. We oh, don't shit. know how close <laughs> their warehouse is to this high school. He was dropping taller. his daughter off as yeah. well. Yeah. That prom. <laughs> uh, cool fight where they smash up some school buses, throw Peter around. He fight. I love in the middle of the fight where he's leaning down, he just looks over, and there's all the gum. He's like, ew. Yeah, yeah. gross. Yeah. Just no reason. But he gets out there. The fight's happening. It looks like it's going badly for Spider Man with a big old shocker's glove. Then guess what? Webbing. What happened? It's Ned out there. Ned has the, the chair. Ned picked up. Yeah, Ned picked Got up the chair. spider suit or a spider uh, web shooter. Webbed him. Peter's like, great shot. Grabs it and then fucks the dude up. Webs him to the car or the bus. It tells she kind of gives Ned the lay down. We got to stop this. This is happening. I need you to be the guy in the chair. Can you track my phone? He keeps saying, can you track my phone? Mm -hmm. uh, and you're like, that's a weird thing to say. Like, I but I guess okay, sure. You want to know? And he's like, talk to Happy. Uh, then Peter runs out. Flash is pulling up, and he's like doing that totally fucking bullshit. If I know whatever fresh Brazini is, and that was yeah, not. Yeah, that's my favorite Flash yeah. part. Yeah, yeah. that oh, was totally, such a totally. good douchebag moment. And yeah, Spider-Man lands. I, I, don't like, bum, I don't mean to bum you up, but like I've had fresh whatever. Yeah, that yeah. was not. Fresh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's my dad's car, and then it's him peeling out in it or whatever. Uh, uh, I don't know why he would say call him Flash by his name though. I never understood that. He's a dumb kid. Yeah, he's a dumb kid. He's, he's just in the moment, right? right? Like he does the same mm. thing when. He meets Liz, yeah, when Liz is in danger for the first Liz, time. Yeah. It's just I never natural understood. response. Yeah, I never understood that. Because I'd be like, how does he know my name? Also, why does he But drive? it's all happening so fast, and you don't know Spider-Man's like, abilities. My thing, uh, why does he drive? Like, why does he not just like web his way to wherever he needs to go? I feel like driving's too faster. far out. Like, is it because he's out? You're a bad driver that's immediately but, but crashing it, into things. That's a solid point. Yeah, but I mean, his school's in the city, I thought. I mean, like, Man, it, it looks I like suburbs-ish, kind of. Uh, yeah, I didn't think of no, that. Yeah. the school's downtown. Okay. So, yeah, good I, don't know. I was very confused I by that. I was like, maybe it was why? easier to drive and follow directions <laughs> than it was the web. I don't know. Mm. That's I the thing. Yeah, he has. You figure he has a uh, net on speakerphone. Who's yeah. I mean, it, I, you're swinging with one arm and doing this. Otherwise, no, I guess so. mm. he doesn't have the cool headset with the heads up display and he all that jazz. Just, you know, also, he could have. That's a great point too. He could have webbed himself. <laughs> webbed it. That's actually really cool. Just you know, that'd be neat. Fifteen-year-old kid. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting yeah. question. Yeah, I don't know. It's also, like, gives them an opportunity to uh, have really good product placement with that dope ass Audi that he yeah, drives. Of course, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. he fucks up. He's so Ned's up there. The he's the tracking. The he's giving instructions on where to go. Because cool. guess what? Peter's phone is in the back of the car. Peter was smart enough to do that. Just leave his car in Tombs' car. Mm -hmm. um, again, you know, Liz says you're one of the smartest guys I know. Exactly. Yeah, and he's showing it once again mm -hmm. why that's the case. Uh, he is doing that, and then he also has Ned looking up how to turn on the head. 
headlights, which is just fucking awesome. Because I'll tell you what, if somebody who drives a lot of zip cars and rental cars, they would just fucking standardize it. It's such a pain in the ass trying to figure out where any of this shit is. But I also love that Ned's, the, Ned's version of being in the chair is not the CW's Flash is like dope ass console. Oh yeah. It's literally the, the computer, computer library. Yeah, yeah. And he's one, one computer to his back and he just turns around to go to the other that, one. Yeah. It reminds yeah. me of really such cool. it, the, like that payoff of him becoming the guy in the chair is like it reminded me of a lot of the payoff moments in like Hot Fuzz or something sure, like that yeah. where where it's like ah oh, they're doing the thing Hot right Fuzz. Behind the chair and he does yes, a little spin between it's, awesome. it's so fucking good. Awesome. <laughs> the library. It's like what are you doing? He's like I'm um, watching porn. <laughs> <laughs> so great. Such a great thing. But yeah, Peter gets there, flips the car, gets there, though. Uh, it's just a random-ass warehouse. What's this all about? Nobody understands why. He goes in there, goes down. Tombs is there working at his little desk. And this is where he gives the speech of like, yeah, we're not so different, you and I. You know, they don't give a shit about us. You and I are little little people. Uh, and then basically Peter's like, oh, was, guess what? It was, he was just distracting. You already webbed him. This is another thing, too. I, I, and I don't know, but it's a movie and I don't care. But I feel like they're playing fast and loose with webbing, too. Where, like, he can cut the webbing with the out, knife. Yeah. I was like, is that but how webbing would a, work? It can hold a freaking, like, uh... I mean, I guess I kind of... For what it's worth, it was his old webbing. Because it was his old shooters, too. Great point. So. Great point, Jack. Yeah, All might, right. Well, well, well played. Well played. Nice. Which You're I didn't right. realize, Because he did 3.0 later on for yeah. in his new suit. Mm, good point. Good point, Jack. he finishes the rest of the movie in his old suit, right? Yeah. Yeah. That was cool. That was awesome. Yeah, it's not the suit. Because he's got to prove well, except, for, he is, except for the last shot. Got the well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You but know, he's got to prove that. Yeah, he is in fact the Spider-Man, as yeah. they yeah. say. Uh, and basically, Tombs like I was just distracting. He's like, "What do you mean?" And down comes the fucking vulture suit all by itself, and it's going around. And Spider-Man's just doing flips all day long, knocking out pillars. It turns out because yeah, he's like Tombs says something, and Spider-Man's just like, "What are you talking about?" He didn't even touch me, and he's like. Wasn't trying to. He's like, whoa, poof, hits the last one. Whole thing comes fucking down on him. Tombs gets in it. He takes off. And then as the dust settles, we're left with Peter Parker in one of Horrifying the best scene. fucking scenes. Uh, Some of the best Lord. fucking acting. I've oh, said it yeah. before. Seriously. I'll say it again. The terror in his voice yeah. is so... I, and I'm not saying to that extent, obviously, but we've all been there, I feel, when you are a kid and you think you've got it all and then something happens and you realize how over your fucking head you are and you really need help and you scream for help and it's that raw, crackly kid call for help. childlike like, yelling. Holy yeah. fucking God. shit. Well, also, like, can you so remember, vulnerable. Can you remember any other heroes in the MCU that cried for help? Yeah, like, that's a yeah, very no. vulnerable, Huge scary moment. thing. Well, I, I love that he's just crying for help to no one. Yeah. You know, and yeah, no yeah, one yeah, just, I'm down here. I'm down yeah, here. Yeah. And it's like... Shit, man. Yeah, like, yeah. That was brutal. Scary, but then he sees the Spider Man mask in the, the water. Roll. <laughs> <Dead>. <laughs> Spider Man won't return. <laughs> uh, he sees the Spider Man mask in the thing and gets that fucking psych himself up. And, and that's the thing. I know they had to drive it home, but like, I didn't like I don't like the half mask. The, the half mask thing. And then the hearing the line of not, Super it's not cliche. the suit, it's whatever. It's like, mm, I feel mm. like this would this was such a good moment. Not that it ruined it, because it no, definitely didn't, definitely but like, not. I feel like it would have been stronger. I agree. Mm. I agree. I think it I needed liked it something. I don't. I don't think him just getting the gusto. Well, I, mean, you, I think he needed to remember that. We all know. Totally. It, we all know the callback it's going to. The yeah. classic Spider-Man scene of him par- buried. And like, in they get to Amazing do, Spider-Man thirty-three. They get to do there. They got to bring in ghost heads and word bubbles yep. and really drive home the fact of like, no, I gotta fucking get out of this. So I understand that they had to give us some kind of comic bookiness mm-hmm. to do it. But then when he's like, okay, Spider-Man. Come on, Spider-Man. Oh, yeah, come yeah, on, Spider-Man. Like, that was so fucking so awesome. Well, did you so hear the story about uh, John, what's his Liguizamo. name? Travolta. <laughs> no, yeah, no John, there from, uh, from Daredevil, uh, Punisher. From um, oh, Bergdahl. Shane uh, John, yeah, John Bergdahl. Bergdahl. He, like, apparently him and Tom Holland, like, they worked out together. And when he was getting into shape, like, it would be, John would be like, hey, come on, Spider-Man. Come on, Spider-Man. And, like, try oh, wow. to get him, like, awesome. psyched up. And he's like, come on, you're Spider-Man. Come on, do this. Yeah. And that was, like, his, his motivation. That's cool. So to hear him, like, do it in the movie. It's like, no, I just got, I just got I chills. I have to yeah. rethink, rank those abs now that you said that he, <laughs> he worked, worked for this. He's a yeah. gymnast, dude. He, he fucking just works for it. roll-ups and look like that. I can't <laughs> believe that he was in included rank. Boom! crazy. Dude, are you sure we can do the theme song? We can do it. Give it to me again. Give it to me again. Were they born? Born in labs. Now it's time to rank those abs. Don't fuck it up this time. Nick, don't flip flop on this. Commit but that was mid-tier totally abs. Thing. Mid-tier abs. That's, that's, mid-tier mid-tier abs. Abs. that's where he's going to be. Mid-tier abs. Sorry, Good definition, not enough girth in the abs. Better Spider-Man gets out. He gets out of the rubble. And then Happy's got the last things on the plane up there. Uh, Including Thor's magic weird belt. magic belt. Yeah, magic belt that he tries to pronounce a million times. That's great. Happy feeling accomplished. What is the magic belt called? I don't know. It's some really weird shit that uh, that I wrote down. I'm like, I don't even fucking. It's like M G J G L R. It's like Mjolnir, but like even more complicated uh, with more R's and G's. Sure. Uh, is it from? Did oh, they say man, it in God yeah, of War? That by is, that is a weird word. There you go. 
It's uh, Majingjord. The Majingjord. Majingjord. Obviously. Uh, Majingjord. The plane takes off. Vulture's chilling out on a billboard. Spider Man's climbing up. The plane's up dope him. as fuck. Now, yeah. Yeah. He's using the, the real life tech of the whole fucking a camera LEDs, system. That's dope. So tight. Here's the deal with the plane, though. Why is there absolutely zero security on this plane whatsoever? That's how they did the private jet as well. Yeah, but, Tony Stark doesn't like people flying his shit. Like even the helicopter. You know, in Civil I don't mean War, that. Same I mean, like, deal. How did it not know that something big was approaching it? Why does it not have weapon systems? Why was there no alerts back to Tony Stark, who was probably in New York, right? True. We have to assume. Like, how did he just approach this plane? He's like stated. Like he made one one sentence where he's like stated it's uh, like blind spot or something like that. I'm like, how does the plane not know what's around it? It's this unbelievably technically advanced camouflage the only stealth w- plane. The only way it's able to do the camo is because there are cameras all over it that are like replicating the outside of yeah, it. Yeah, so you be you think they would be able to see what else <laughs> yeah. what's on the other side. It's not a bird of prey, right? Where it's like camouflage, you can't do anything. It's like fair, yeah. fair point. It's just fair a point. weird. It, that was one of the weird holes, and I'm like, I get that he has to be on his own in this, but like, you would also think maybe he'd call Tony. Well, like, here they're what, stealing your shit. What, what if what well, if they had a whole series? Happy. Of these planes, like they were just getting everything out, and it's just like basically these are just like kind of like you know shipping planes just to get stuff out. Mm. It's like really not a lot to it. It's just literally it's an empty box that throws. Tony has a, a, a gadget that will literally push a fucking boat back together <laughs> if it's been dissected. Yeah. You're forgetting, of course, that Chachaka lot uh, yeah. technology <laughs> is immune to Tony Stark's Earth technology. That's fair. That's how sure. it is. Fair. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. sure. if done right, no can't defend. Vulture takes off Not for really. it. Uh, Spider Man is stuck to Sp- uh, Vulture's back, and Vulture's like, oh, I'm getting some drag, though, and he keeps looking back, but he doesn't see anything. And Tinker's just like, Oh, it's probably the new turbines, which then is great because now we, we can ignore that point. Uh, Vulture gets up there, suction cups on the bottom, puts in his high altitude bullshit. So cool. Oh, the little cool. fucking yeah. turtle shell. Yep, yep, thing. yep. Throws Turn. on his little uh, uh, dice that make the hole. He comes down inside. We start looking through all the cool shit. There's a lot of cool shit in there. Arc reactors. Ultron heads, right? Or was this was the Ultron head earlier? The Ultron head was earlier. Yeah, uh, Iron Man helmets, helmets head and just Iron Man suits. Bunch of cool shit. Yeah, in there. The head looked really cool cheap. Shit. I didn't like the way it looked. Cheap, yeah. It looked like plastic. 100%. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Meanwhile, Spidey's on the outside of the plane. He's there, trying to stick, having a trouble with it, enjoying it, webbing himself, doing all this stuff. Uh, Being giant on the yeah, yeah. He oh, crawls cool. in front of the camera. Eventually, yeah. Is that when Tombs sees him, or is it when he gets over there? I remember Tombs seeing Spidey no, no, on the outside. He starts kicking the bottom. Yeah. Right. I don't. Oh, yeah, and then yeah. the then the air yeah. comes in, and then Tombs looks at a screen, right, and mm-hmm. sees him on the, from he's the like, camera. Damn it. Spidey, uh, yeah, I don't think Spidey gets in, right? He's been kicking no. the thing. Yeah, he never gets inside. Yeah, exactly. Tomb back in it. Tomb starts blowing shit up or whatever. The plane's going all fucking haywire. They're fighting out there. They they go in. They, Spider-Man almost goes into an engine, webs that. Then the engine comes out, and he webs the back. Tomb's flying over. They're cutting up. Brutal they're cutting fight. holes in the plane. It's great. Fight. And we start seeing the, the the talons going through and yeah, fucking yeah. chasing them down. Yeah, yeah. Really, really Even cool. the wings with, like, the weird razor blades shit. Yeah. So sick. Super Very. cool. He Super cool. He has to, like, web the wing to make it turn. Right, yeah. The plane's going down now towards the city. Is it Atlantic He's City? Smart I don't know which one it is or whatever. That's no, in New York, no, right? It's in New York. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. In New York. Isn't Atlantic City by it's flight not that far? No, it wasn't Atlantic City. It was where the... Uh, no, New Jersey. Coney Island. Yeah. No, Coney Island. It was Coney yeah. Island because gotcha. they had the Wonder Wheel. Remember how and Happy can actually see it for me. He's like, oh, yeah, fuck. yeah, <laughs> exactly. He sees exactly. something going down in flames. He's like, shit. <laughs> Spider Man, of course, yeah, though, does the awesome thing where he webs the flaps of the, pl- the wing and pulls it up to make it dodge that and come down into the uh, beach over by Coney Island. That happens. There's shit everywhere. And there's fire everywhere. Spidey survives it, obviously. He's sitting there in the sand, gets up, can't hear anything. It gets up, and it's one of those really intense fucking war moments. Yeah. And then yeah. the vulture comes out of nowhere. Yeah, in the yeah, time. yeah, yeah. It scary as hell. But I love that his wings look like they've been like clipped and burned. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's yeah. Like yeah. A dying up bird. Exactly. It's cool. He gets on top of Peter. He's yelling at him and stuff. He's going to kill him and shit. But then he looks over and sees that there's still a, a, a bunch of arc reactors right there. And he's like, that's good enough. As long as I get away with something, this will all be worth it, I guess. Goes over there and turns his back on Peter, gets the talons in it. Peter sees it. He's like, No, your wings are going to blow up. Your wings are going to blow up. Tombs won't hear it. I don't know how he'd recognize that, though. Because the they're all like electrifying. And I mean, doing it all looked, yeah, no, I guess. I, I thought it was because of the the battery they had earlier that had exploded. Yeah, I think that's what uh, he was referring yeah, he had to. Had recognized the most chocolate gonna, technology battery. That's it, I see. The most chocolate. Yeah. yeah, he's like, Don't pick up those giant things because if they get like electrified or whatever, they're going to gotcha. explode. Basically. No, that was a different thing, Nick. What's that? The, the thing he was picking up were the arc reactors. No, I he was were... noticing the on his back. Yeah, his back was fucked up. Was like fucked it was gonna up go. And was oh, sparking. okay. I yeah. thought he picked up a box of those. 
pink things. No, it was no, arc yeah, reactors yeah, from were, Iron Man's yeah. chest. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. His suit was like really yeah. fucking. Anyways, Peter also, webs him. He turns around and clips the webbing and starts trying to go. And then he just can't do it. He comes down and it blows up or whatever. And Peter, there's all this fire. And Peter, like a fucking madman, runs in there. He's not afraid of nothing. I love the hot. Grabbing the wing is too Such hot. Cool and he's like, detail. I gotta fucking do it. Gets in there, throws it up. And then he drags Tombs out. Tombs Use the die. sand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're both just lying there then. Totally fucked up. But Spider Man gets up. And then. Exactly. Well, Leans I mean, over and says, I hate you. And then, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fuck your fuck daughter. Your daughter. <laughs> 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 All the good guys roll up, and even though Spider-Man was exhausted and beat to shit, he still had time to pile everything together neatly, web them, and leave a note, which leave a note, I yeah. ain't even going to argue. Fucking awesome. Doesn't it matter. what it is. Happy season, he reads the note. The first time he's called the Vulture, right? Yeah. The, the yeah. Vulture Vul- man vulture guy, or that yeah. Vulture guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, like, did he... Because he ran out of webbing. <laughs> no, he didn't run out of webbing. Like he tried to shoot it at Vulture and he ran out. No, no, Vulture. That was one it. of them though. Yeah. I thought this, yeah, it was broken or yeah, I, this one was fine. I think it was just like one of them he was out and he still had the other one. Oh, oh okay. I remember, but it was too late. The guy was blowing. I up. see. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, right, he right, missed right. a shot. Okay, he sh- didn't shoot a shot. Got to shoot a shot. Um, so then, yeah, Happy shows up, reads the note. Spider Man's over on the roller coaster in Coney Island. There, just watching it all happen. Mission accomplished. Good job, Spider Man. We go back to school now. It's some time later. <laughs> Indiscriminate amount of time. I'm not sure, honestly, to tell you the truth. Uh, Liz and her mom come out of the principal's office. Liz is crying. Peter runs over there. He's like, I'm sorry, Liz. You know what I mean? Betty Brant says goodbye. I yeah, miss Liz. you. I just don't give a shit. That just isn't important to what we're talking about right now. You <laughs> know what I mean? Is. She yeah. can break her dick off. Betty Brant can break, break her dick off. <laughs> hey, man. Be God, fuck hard, Brant. Runs over there. Thank you, Nick, for finally being on my side about something. Just saying. Fucking he runs over space, there, right? apologizes. She's like, oh, you know, what, what for? What are you apologizing for? This, the, the, you know, the whole thing. He's like, yeah, yeah. And again, Liz, to her credit, isn't an asshole. Really cool she has girl. every right to be an asshole. And she's just like, hey, man, we're moving to Oregon. Whatever you're going through, I hope you figure it out. I got to deal with my life right now because dad doesn't want us here during the trial or whatever. She fucking bounces hard. Then we go to fucking. <laughs> I'm trying to talk like Nick. I wonder what what Oregon's gonna like. You, there's a reason they specifically said that. Yes, yeah, I don't know what weird. Oregon. I don't know. Oh, weird. you don't know. You you don't know this. Portland. You were telling me what a great fucking huge part of Marvel canon she is. You don't know this part about her in Oregon. That's where she goes and eats rocks. <laughs> Uh, in, in, in the ultimate yeah. comics, she ends up her Eats brother rocks. and I in spectacular as well. Eats her rocks. brother's molten man in this, and then her brother is uh one of the X Men in, in the comics. So Nightcrawl. she has some shit. It's not Nightcrawl. It's Nightcrawl. Wolverine. Wolverine. <laughs> Fuck Morph. No nope. Professor uh, Xavier. Maybe that one. Yeah. Anyways, we go back to Academic Decathlon <laughs> where we're gonna have a little thing here. Liz was of course in charge. She was leaving anyway, but we need a new leader. Martin Starr is there with the trophy. Yeah, yeah. He only he can borrow it for a little, <laughs> for a little bit. bit. <laughs> That's great. That was fucking Put it great. Back. He's so good. Just for motivation. Uh, and they elect a Michelle to be the new leader who says, Well, my friends call me MJ. MJ. And he's like, You don't have any friends. And she's like, I do, I do now. now. It's you. And he's like, that's a that's a bold assumption. We like, all, of course, we all. Spent two we like, what? Yeah, well, you've known we know the, you've known these students though, yeah. and, and, they, year, and they all half, clearly think you're weird as fuck. Yeah. And like, like you've never no thought to you. say, oh, just call me MJ. That I hated that force. Yeah, I didn't it's, like it. I hated well, it. Well, it's the weird thing too. If you remember too, after the fact, when they were interviewing the people who were behind the movie, they were like, oh, it, she, it was just a cool thing we tossed in. She yeah. doesn't. She's not really MJ. She's not Mary necessarily. Yeah, she's not Mary Jane. It was like Michelle. So. That was a weird thing to do then. Like, I don't yeah. know. It's going to be weird if you do introduce a Mary Jane down the road, but I'm sure I would assume you do, Gwen. I, for this. I found Probably. that character uh, kind of annoying. I loved her I up until her. that moment. Yeah, well, I, Even I, then, I, I was like, oh, that's a I weird thing. I didn't get enough. I know, I know there was a lot of issues with like, like Zendaya. I had no idea who the hell Zendaya know, was yeah, yeah, until yeah. that still movie. Don't know. And I don't think a person Well, she was in Greatest Showman. She was in Greatest Showman. She was awesome in that movie. She's fantastic. But I don't know. I like her a lot. She is dad. Her principal. Really? Who? Zendaya. Really? Did she go to school she went to OSA, which really? is the... Can we call Zendaya right now? No. Can we I don't call know. Can we call Gia's dad? Gia can say that she went to a play one time uh, that Zendaya's like, family was in or whatever, and so she was there like supporting after she'd already moved to LA and got all fancy, mm. and she was like, she's the most LA girl I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. What does that mean? Just fucking super done up. Oh, nice. Good long friend. ass nails. It was like, wow. Well, at that you point, if you've already gone to LA life. and blown up, right? Might as well. It'd be like sure, me showing fine. up to a fucking Passover dinner not wasted. You know what I'm saying? People <laughs> expect something from Greg Miller. You got to deliver. You have to fucking deliver. 
<laughs> MJ. If Greg Miller Anyways. doesn't throw up by the second course of the same pass over, I'll tell you that. She's very clearly like into Peter. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, it's yeah, very, yeah, yeah. very obvious that she's, she's into She's playing him. it off that she's not a stalker, but she's in yeah. fact really into Peter, which is cute. I think that's cute. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, I feel like with Peter Parker and with Spider-Man, the whole what girl he's with and when and how is like such an interesting, important dynamic to the character. Yeah. And we've seen before the Gwen Stacy. We've seen Mary Jane in a bunch of different forms and ways. And it's it's complicated because with the Ultimate Comics, which is his semi based on, we get Mary Jane and Gwen Stacy both being the same age, yeah. contemporary. And Mary Jane, not this cool, hot person. She is kind of awkward, more Zendaya like mm. than than we're used to. I mean, this is her. exactly what we've talked about before. Is this is now the third version of Spider Man in a very recent amount of time, where we have seen Gwen twice, we have seen Mary Jane done. I've never I'm, seen Liz, which is cool. I'm Liz totally is fine a, with them doing the. Hey, guess what? This, Zendaya is our MJ, and it's Michelle, and it's going to be something completely different. And yeah. she's not yeah. a model, and there yeah. isn't this Gwen. Do- and like, okay, cool. Like I've seen the other way. And the chemistry yeah. between Zendaya and Tom Holland is on another goddamn yeah. level. If well, you guys what? haven't seen the lip sync battle with the two of them going against each not. other, Nick. You need to stop oh, what you're doing. Is, don't stop doing the show. Take, totally no, make no, I'd like to go make. home. Everyone, pause the podcast. I and look up Tom Holland's lip sync battle where he does Rihanna's umbrella. Yeah, and great. there's just really fucking water day. falling. And he's just like doing that thing where he thrusts the I ground. And it's just puddles sparking Anyway, Anyways, she's sparky, MJ. Dude. And then uh, big old Tom Holland, Peter Parker, gets a message that says, go to the bathroom. So you have to leave. Creepy. MJ starts calling him on it, but then it's just a joke. But she's still watching. She's still that was right. funny, though. I, I liked how they handled that whole thing. Just like, what do you got going on? Yeah. yeah. Just kidding. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Uh, he goes in there. It is happy. Happy starts to apologize. Same chess kid comes out <laughs> of the bathroom. Chess kid comes out. Also still super suspicious. Look. Oh, I didn't realize it was the same kid. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. great. It's great. It's so funny, yeah. though. Yeah. He leaves, and he's like, yeah, thankful, of course, to Peter for saving the day here and doing this thing, and he wants to come up. Come up north. Come up to, come out of, come up to New York State with me. Uh, we got to go check in with the boss. They go up there to Avengers uh, facility. HQ. Like, yeah, HQ. The new, new. Yeah, the new, new. Yeah, the new, new, new. They go in there. Tony Stark's there. He asks Happy to hang back. He starts complimenting him, talks about the tough love, and he did this, did that. It's so great. We're amazing. And so, like, now it's time for you to join the team. Uh, shows him the Iron Spider suit. Oh, so good. So man. fucking cool looking. He says there's a dozen reporters on that uh, outside of that door ready to meet the newest member of the Avengers. So, like, sign up. You're going to sit, you're going to live next to Vision and all this shit. Funny lines about Vision going through walls and shit. And then. Uh, Peter Parker's like, you know what? No, like, I'm, I'm, I don't want to do this. I want to stay close to the ground. I want to be a friendly neighborhood spider man a little bit longer, or whatever. And Tony's like, okay, that's cool. I'm, I'm down with this decision. And he starts walking away. He's like, wait, was this a test? And they're like, yeah, yeah, totally a test. All right, cool. Go wait in the car. And he goes out in the car. And then Gwyneth Paltrow comes on through. Pepper Potts comes through the door. Back Tons in love with Tony Stark. Well, there's lots of reporters. In the lots of reporters back there. Very much in love with Tony again. Uh, again, with the off screen breakup and now the off screen makeup. Okay. Again, in Civil War, Tony puts out that line of like, maybe the Sokovia Accords will help make her happy. Mm-hmm. So maybe you know, what, you know my theory? LMD. What's that? Life model decoy. Not actually her. Oh, they no. do make it's out. It's a though. scroll. <laughs> 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 yeah, they do make out. Uh, and then yeah, he's like, well, no, it's not gonna happen. What do we tell these people? I could propose. Talk, that, you know, he, yeah, happy has the, the ring. ring. Like, uh, oh, he says he's had it for what? Uh, Ten years, years yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. or something, whatever it something, was. Yeah, but yeah. It was like Iron Man one, basically. Yeah, exactly. Which is two thousand eight. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so great, so cool. And then he tosses it at him. So I, I assume he does propose on the other side of that door. Personally, I don't know. If, I mean, know. we should. We'll, we'll probably find out. Find out. Very yeah. soon. We'll find out. Yeah. And, but uh, I also love the like that was a test, right? Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. 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 Exactly. yeah. It wasn't tested. Do you think Spider that if dope? Do you think if he had said, "Cool, let's do this," did they go, "Hey, everyone, this is Spider Man," or "Hey, everyone, this is Peter Parker"? He's oh, they, he would have suited up and no, then gone. Oh, yeah, suited so up, they don't. Sure. They don't. But so they keep his identity. Yeah, sure. the other Avengers have I think they would right? Because he's a dumb kid and he has a family, right? But like, don't all the other Avengers? No, really. Just uh. Right, Fucking Captain America don't. I mean, everyone, everyone, fair. Clint, yeah, Captain Clint America Clint just still trying to figure Clint. out how to watch internet porn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great point. Out. So he goes home. May's not home. There's a little paper sack. That's this is yours from TS. Opens it up. It's the Spider Man suit. Puts on the Spider Man suit. We have them all decked out in his suit. Camera swings around. And he pulls Great off the mask. Dramatic music. Yeah, and then Aunt May's in the doorway. What the fuck? What the f- so good. And I love it because it's a classic twist on Aunt May finding yeah. out yeah. who he is. We always see that. But her the what the fuck reaction then cut with the Ramones. Yeah. yeah. Ah, so fucking do you, think, do you think that like she now knows that he's Spider Man? Yeah. Hell can yeah. Just be oh, like, hell yeah. I, I got a fake suit. No. no. The, the, the moment she knows that, together. you combine the fact that tar- the Stark internship and like all this shit. Oh, and it's just like I think we've established he's not great at lying. Yeah, sure. you know what I mean. This, he's Especially still to her. Yeah, exactly. And so I, I, it'll be interesting to see 
what the line is in that in Infinity War. If he said he would do it less, if I he hope said, we get to me in Infinity War. I'm not sure we will. I, it's it's the movie's so big. There's only know. so much time. Like, how can we get everybody we want in this? And like, yeah, what the dynamic will be in terms uh, of? Well, if uh, you go, if you're like, hey, we're making Infinity War. It's going to be the, one of the largest movies ever of all time. Do you have one day to work on? Oh no, I, I don't like, mean I'm that. 100. Oh, man. I I mean yeah. I, I bet she'd be fine. I'm just like. I don't know how you fit that scene in because I feel like our introduction to Spider-Man. It's gonna be a shot. Like it's, it's, it's gonna be a shot of her looking out the window at that ring or whatever it is. Mm. It's gonna be something like that where okay. she'll be in it, but it's because I feel like we're gonna see Spidey introduce when he's on the bus, like we've seen in the yeah. trailer, and his arms will go up, and then he's gonna put on the mask. But do we get a line? Is he next to Ned, and he's just like, "Dude, I gotta fucking go." He's like, "What did you? T- what about what yeah, you told May?" And he's like, "I gotta go." There's an ex- no. There's an extended scene that came out, and I think it was a commercial. I think it was like an extended TV spot in like Britain or something like that. But they they showed Ned still on the bus, and he he tells Ned to distract everybody. Oh, really? And Ned, Fuck. Ned runs, I really I don't want to know any of this. Wait, by the really? way, I don't oh, want to know sorry. any of this yeah. information. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, thought <laughs> <this was laughs> I thought this was a bit. I thought this was a bit. I can't hear you. Kind of I thought thing. this was a bit. Sorry. Yeah. So no, no, Ned's, no. Ned's no. in the movie. All right. Cool. Good. Way to ruin that. that. I think that was known. Isn't that? Wasn't that I've just been no, playing a little bit loser. Here. It's fine. I'm not mad. That's, I mean, okay. I mean videos mad. the guy. I didn't know that. Yeah. I did ask about the next Spider-Man though. And he what he wouldn't say? tell me anything. Fucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> not shocking. What do you know about the next Blood Fest? Uh, so then we're in Easter eggs. Yeah, post credit scene. Yeah, we it get, was uh, uh, Vulture in b- Vulture jail. in jail where he Scorpion. comes across Scorpion and Scorpion's like, hey man, some people on the outside say that you know and like Vulture, like a fucking badass, doesn't give it up. Yeah. I appreciated that. Scorpion looks so he good. He's all fucked up. Why does he not give it up, do you think? Honor. Because, yeah, I mean, Spider-Man she, saved his life. No, I think he wants to take one? him down. I think there's some of that. You I think? do think he will get out with an axe to grind totally. if he gets out. But yeah. Sinister Six, baby. Let's fucking yeah. go. But I do think it is very much that, yeah, he... Feels he owes him something. He saved his daughter's life. He saved he his life. Saved his life. Yeah, like this could. I mean, this is shitty that this happened. And Spider Man got in the way, but he sees that he's a good he's person. Still, yeah, he's like, still very much like I think Vulture thinks of himself as a good person, as a man of honor with a code, and I think that he can see that Spider Man has that as well. He's still gonna try to, you know, when he gets out, fuck him up a little bit. But I don't know. Laying down on the sand, looking at him, like you yeah. can tell, like fuck, this kid just he was the real deal. Yeah, 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 yeah he yeah. saved me too after yeah, saving yeah. my daughter. And so yeah, scene. I liked it. And Scorpion's that, usually a punk ass bitch. I don't like him in the comics, but in the Ultimate comics, I like him, and it seems like this one's based off that. So, so who is the Sinister Wait. Six? It's Rhino. It changes Vulture, depending on on Doc if you count Craven or not. Mysterio's okay. Mysterio. Mysterio. Mysterio's usually Mysterio's in, in there. there. Ray Mysterio. Yeah. 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 Six one nine. nine. <laughs> just fucking yeah. six one nine. <laughs> Spider Man. Uh, is Venom in it? No, Venom is not. Okay. What about Carnage? Carnage. No, 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 no. no. They, those are those guys are. It's too mostly cool. it's the animal ones. Uh, and so then the last Easter egg is Crab Captain America. Man. Oh so god, that Captain America bit is Patience. amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Sometimes things just Sometimes, aren't worth yeah, waiting yeah, yeah. for. <laughs> and he just he does that. How many of these? What are these for? How many of these are going to have to do? Oh, yeah, yeah. Good. So great. All right. And that's Spider-Man Homecoming. Ragu, motherfucking bagu. I'm just putting it out there. I know I'm not on the show, guys. You're not allowed Number to. Number one. Uh, I'm gonna ask. Number one. I number two. Andy, I'm gonna ask you right now. Dun 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 dun. Ragu. Dun 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 dun. Bagu. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Ragu Bagu Vids. Rad guys talk bad guys. We remembered that last show. <laughs> if you want to be part of the show, tweet at us. Twitter.com slash Ragu Bagu Vids. I'm Greg Miller. That's Andy Cortez. Hey, what's up, guys? Nitro Rifle. Hey, what's up? Jack. <laughs> Uh, here's where we rank all the bad guys in the MCU. I'm going to go from worst to best. At number 16, Just it's these fucks one. from Thor 2. Number 15, Abomination from Hulk. Number 14, Ronin from Guardians. Number 13, Cross from Ant-Man. Number 12, Loki from Thor. Number 11, Obadiah from Iron Man. Number 10, Mandarin slash Aldrich Killian from Iron Man 3. Number 9, Mass slash Dormammu from Doctor Strange. Number 8, Rockwell slash Mickey Rourke from Iron Man 2. Number 7, Captain America's Red Skull. Number six, Ultron from Ultron. Number five, Hydra from Captain America Winter Soldier. Number four, Ego from Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Number three, Loki from Avengers. Number two, Bacon Guy from Civil War. And number one, Michael B. Jordan from Black Panther. I still put him at, I put him at number two underneath Michael B. Jordan from Black Panther. Yeah. Yeah. Number two. I have him at number two. You say number one. You say I number say one. one. I think it's fucking easy. I, I, think he's, yeah. I think he's number one in a lot of I think you think He's number one because of the reveal. The reveal is. I think the reveal adds to it, but I think the fact that he's terrifying, the way that he moves, the way that he acts, his fight scenes are interesting. His motivation's cool. His acting is great. 
I think, I think, think he's justified. I, th I, think, I think Killmonger is very much justified. But he, I feel he loses it all the moment he starts killing people. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, everybody. So, uh, but he still wins. Like, at the end of that movie, he gets everything he wants except for d killing everyone. I mean, like, like, like you know, Wakanda is open up to the public. They start talking to people. It's helping out. Like, he's like, that's what he wanted. He wanted that. But he, he wanted, wanted more. a couple things more than that. Yeah, though. but I mean, he ultimately got everything that he that wanted. That ass. He wanted that ass. <laughs> he didn't want that ass. So, I, uh, anyway, that's why I would put Killmonger over. I, I still tombs. have Killmonger at number one. Yeah. It's maybe maybe we could tie. A tie in Ragu Bagu? Well, it's never been done before. It's Guys, never been done no, on this don't, show. Don't do it. Don't do it, says Kevin. <laughs> He's the number one fan. What did you say, Nick? I would put him at number one. We're also we're number reaching one, out. Yeah. I feel like we actually number have to do one. a vote for this. We've never had to do a Ragu Bagu vote. No, wait, wait, do I got to vote? No. Sure, you can vote oh, on this one. Sweet, I, I, I can't vote because I'm not in, in this show. Yeah, you no, can. I just said, no, none of only All me and Andy are ever in. Now everybody's in right now for this one thing. We've gone to you, the audience, you guys. See, Jack, we used to have a podcast early on within the podcast called Chilling with the Villains. And then you say one. And then Nick and Kevin like wanted you to say be one. part of it, so we're like, one. you could take one. Okay. You said two. Two. You said two. So do we have two ones? Oh, I haven't voted yet. I've never said what I think. Two. It goes tie goes to you. Did you two. say one? Did you say one? I yeah. said one. One. Kevin was one. Yeah, yeah. One. So we have three ones, two twos right now. Zero. Put it as one. <laughs> Put it as one. Don't abstain. I'm gonna say one. Yes. Oh, all right. Oh. So a new ragu bagu vid leader, the vulture. All right. I'm not gonna bother. It's late. I'm not gonna bother going through them all. No, we're good. <laughs> Vulture number one, we're is number good. is number How one. How do you spell Guardians? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's now Guardia. it's time to rank the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Kevin, please bring it up. Number one, Captain America: Civil War. Number two, Captain America: Winter Soldier. Number three, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. Number four, Avengers. Number five, Guardians of the Galaxy. Number six, Iron Man. Number seven, Black Panther. Number eight, Doctor Strange. Number nine, Ant Man. Number ten, Iron Man two. Number eleven, Avengers: Age of Ultron. Number twelve, Captain America: The First Avenger. Number thirteen, Iron Man three. Number fourteen, The Incredible Hulk. Number fifteen, Thor. Number sixteen, Thor: The Dark World. I can't believe we've made it this far. I have no say in this. I can't make a vote, but I would uh, say I would put it at a strong number two. Oh, sorry. I'll I, say I do have a vote. And I don't think that there's any question in my mind. It's number one. Yes. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah, I totally agree. Really? Number, I gotta oh say, from god, the start yes. to finish, superhero movie. I, I I I don't know that I could argue it shouldn't be at number one. Yes. Oh here's my god. here's I what I hearing this, guys. I'd like to take the floor for a second, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> if yes. I may. You haven't had the floor. The the donuts, the is, it is the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yes. He's now, gonna say it's number one. Now, as you, you know, as you know, I'll be very clear about this. I've been I was very vocal for many a year, and when we did the original review for Spider Man Homecoming, I think this is my favorite Marvel movie of all mm -hmm. time. However, We've been doing this for, this is our 17th week doing this show. I've eaten a lot of crow. Mm -hmm. Turns out this Captain America fellow pretty good. Mm -hmm. yeah. This Civil War yeah. and this yeah. Winter Soldier, pretty. F these are great fucking movies. I still think this is the best one. Yes. I walked out of Spider-Man Homecoming the first time with you. Yeah. And I, we both looked at each other like, this is the best one. And then we saw it after that, like a week later, we saw it together. And I was like, I still fucking think. You didn't love it as much. Yeah. I loved it. But I, I love it. I just, it's still not my favorite. I, I would put this movie uh, below Guardians 2. What? Wow. Above Avengers. Wow. My thing is, the, I like thought that me. this was going to be one that I'm like rewatching this. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not going to like it as much. I still much. had a blast. And so God, good. I had here, such a blast. Here. I think it is such a strong movie. I think the supporting characters are so great. The amount of villains are amazing. The amount of things it builds for the future are great. And, and it, well, the way it integrates with an established universe, not to, and I'm giving bonus points, but an established universe that is not Sony's own, the way that they made this fucking happen, they made the, they, they didn't fuck it up, which we're all so terrified about. And God, they could have. And the fact that, and this is where, and obviously, we I, all these these movies are so much fun to watch. Nobody's taking anything away from it. The fact that if somebody was to walk up to me right now and just be, and I don't mean to use like the old like Metal Gear Solid 5 or 4 argument right on a top 25 list. Hey, I've never watched any of this. What should I watch? Spider-Man is so approachable and such a great A to B story where hopefully you know Uncle Ben or something, but even if you don't, and even if you don't really understand the war criminal joke or whatever, you're fine. You're going to get through it. Whereas Civil War is amazing and is an amazing film, period. And I think Winter Soldier is as well. But I think those, if you don't know anything from it and you don't know the relationships and Ant-Man and Hawkeye and how that all plays together, that movie suffers from that. Whereas the Spider-Man movie can stand alone. I think if you're ranking these movies in the cinematic universe, we're ranking the Marvel cinematic universe. Yeah. In that universe, I think Civil War still the way it, it takes all the characters, all their backstories, all their sure. different things, puts it together. That's incredible. We said a long if, time ago that the, what we're going to judge this on is plot, villain, 
action comedy, how much it stands alone, and how much it builds the universe. But for oh, the that's record, the case, then 100 percent is number one. Now, for the record, we did throw that out a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> we <laughs> after, episode, after episode two, I we just stopped saying it just because okay, I, like, I hear you. I mean, that's still what we're voting all of this on. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I think it's so good. It's, Kevin, what? Yeah, you you're excited with the number ones. Are you voting? Yeah, number I mean one? that's the thing. I initially going in, I was like, I I really like Guardians, and then I watched Guardians, and like I watched both of them this weekend, um, back to back actually, and I was like, man, there's no way I'm gonna like this more. And at the end of it, I was like, holy shit, I love this. I want more of this. So yeah, for me, this is my it, number one, and I'm happy. Yeah. So many of you guys agree. And my other thing too, and this is could go either way, I guess, in terms fucking of fucking like, echo chamber, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is the fact that <laughs> Spider-Man is the only Marvel movie on here. It's the movie I've watched the most. In mm. terms of, I think I've seen it four times before this, right? Maybe three or four times before. Doesn't matter. Uh, whereas I think Avengers, maybe I've seen three times, maybe twice. But I feel like Spider-Man, I've watched more, and I was so excited to see it again, and I, it's still delivered. And like Guardians, I hadn't seen since theater, I don't think. And wa- or Guardians Two, mm-hmm. and watching Guardians Two again, I was like, "This is a fucking Fuck awesome no. film." And then I was worried of like, maybe it's gonna. It, it, I like it because I, maybe it's standing out right now because I haven't seen it. And I forgot a bunch of stuff. But Spider Man, which I feel like I remembered pretty much everything, I was still like, "Fuck this." Is I think good. to me, what makes this so special is Spider Man is my favorite hero. We've seen him so many times. He this did it best and different. Mm-hmm. And on top of that, when you're talking about what the MCU is, like you always talk about Iron Man and why it's mm-hmm. ranked so high is because it originated. Whatever to me. Robert Downey Jr., RDJ, yep. Tony Stark RDJ. is the MCU. And the fact that this movie not only gives us Spider-Man, but gives it, but also gives us Iron Man, and enough, but not too much of him, I think is so important because I feel like he is in this movie the exact amount of time that he needs to be. Yeah. I, I love that Tony Stark has become like the Batman Beyond kind of role where he's like the old man who's kind of like, yeah. I'm going to start. You know, and that's why I like... I feel if, you know, if they decide to be like, hey, you know, Tony Stark's not going to be Iron Man anymore, like Riri is going to pop up or someone, mm-hmm. but he'll still be there as kind of like the, you know, the old Bruce Wayne. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah. so you yeah, yeah. let everyone, like, I'll be here in kind of like a helping sense. I can't imagine him ever just leaving and be like, I'm just going to go to a farm yeah. and, you know, hang out with, you know, Clint. Well, maybe Thanos like, will stomp a skull. In. But yeah. I, I just think combining Spider-Man with Iron Man, with the supporting cast of friends, the supporting cast of enemies, Vulture being my favorite villain of the whole series. It's like, this is easy. And the score's great. So many moments, it's funny. It, yeah. You know, it learned from Guardians and uh, Ant Man and all that. I think it's easily number one. All right, let's vote. So let's vote. So lowest vote so far is two, my, I think. No, Andy, oh, no, Andy four. saying it, it's. I have it at number four below Guardians two, but above Avengers. Yes. Okay. Who thinks it's better than Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two? Oh yeah. Everybody but Andy. Everyone but Andy. And remember, Jack's upstate. Um, yeah, Who I, thinks I it's better it. than Captain America: Winter Soldier? Everybody, Everybody but Andy. Least number two. Andy. Who thinks it's better than Captain America Civil War? Look at that. Everybody, Everybody but, Andy. but Andy. New number one. God, great. Now I need to right This there. is going to be the most challenging confetti. reading of it that I've ever had. All right, here There's we go. There's a lot here. Ranking the Marvel Cinematic Universe as it stands now. Number one, Spider-Man Homecoming. Number two, Captain America Civil War. Number three, Captain America the Winter Soldier. Number four, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Number five, Avengers. Number six, Guardians of the Galaxy. Number seven, Iron Man, number eight, Black Panther, number nine, Doctor Strange, number 10, Ant-Man, number 11, Iron Man, two, number 12, Avengers, Age of Ultron, number 13, Captain America, the first Avenger, number 14, Iron Man, three, number 15, The Incredible Hulk, number 16, Thor, and number 17, Thor, The Dark World. Next week, we have Thor Ragnarok, Tuesday at 9 a.m. And then the new number one, Thor Ragnarok. And then we have, rounding it all out. Avengers Infinity War. On Woo! The first day. You're watching this right now live on YouTube when it first goes up. You are a week away from Infinity God. War. God damn. Get hype, oh, God. son. And until then, Andy, have a marvelous day. Nailed it. Yeah!